I get traffic. I can survive that. What? What you gonna do? How gonna home get... invasions? Come on, bro. Help the world out. That is home invasions is a it, it's a common thing, it, but you tell bro, I, if I if I get traffic like like niggas kidnap me and traffic me and I just gotta survive it and niggas bro, all I gotta do is if they put the shit in me, I just gotta I just gotta make sure they get that needle away from me and piss and shit on myself. I'm gonna be the dirtiest nigga alive, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you, hear the, you hear the plan. I don't know if you're hearing the plan, but that's the plan. This is for a greater cause, Fritz. It will be gone. No more trafficking. I'll get shot. <laughs> I'm surviving that. What's up? <laughs> now murder's gone. You can murder people in different ways. Oh, shit. <laughs> that means somebody I has to try to come and kill way. you. <laughs> All right, then I'm getting shot. you getting shot? Now so nobody, nobody could get shot. shot. Ooh. Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Rigs Podcast, episode number 120. I'm your host, DWK Darius. I'm here with my co-host, Fritz. Fritz, say hello to people. What's going on? It's your boy, Fritz. I'm back. Back with another one. <laughs> back like I never left. I mean, I was, I was, that was... You was here last month. I was here, yeah, not too long ago, but everybody, still. Well, everybody what? I think you're, everybody thinks, you, are you the, do you think you're the favorite of the No Regulars cast? Do you think mm. you're one of the regulars of the No Regulars? Most definitely, I, I mean... I mean, obviously, I'm the regular. <laughs> I'm the regular, and you um, know, when it, of the no regulars. But listen, even your mom says I'm a regular. Yeah, but listen, am I a favorite? I would think so. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yeah, I would, I would think, think so. so. Like, I mean, come on, bro. I feel like. I can't disclose. I feel that like a lot of people. Though. You can't disclose that oh, information. Oh, oh, so you know the information based on. Oh, I think by me are or you, by are the you, fans? Are you, are, you think, are you saying based on views? Or are you saying based on comments? Or are you saying based on... I don't know if you want me to go... Based on DMs? I was going to say personal preference, like based on me. Mm. <laughs> based, like, on, based on you what? Hey, bro. I know what it is. <laughs> I know. You don't got to say too much. I, I ain't saying nothing, bro. I know. I know. You don't got to say too much. But listen. I mean, it's always an honor to be here. You know what I'm saying? It's always great to be here. I, I love doing this podcast shit. You I'm know glad you saying? do, bro. I love it. What's something you would want to add to it that you think will make it better? And people, if you have something else you want to tell us, put it in the comments. Because I really want to know. Because y'all y'all be liking everything. I'm waiting for somebody to dislike. Yeah, yeah. Listen. Wait, don't dislike it, though. Don't be weird yeah, and start disliking. Why tell them to dislike? No. But anyways. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Whoever has, like, if they got ideas... When it comes to like, what would like improve the pod. quality of the pod or like improve the? He wants to dress up. Yeah, dress. No, no, I ain't dressing up. Dressing <laughs> up where and what? What well, depends. But listen, if you you know have any ideas, let 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 us know. That's but I comments. think um, like, I don't know actually. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I'll like be looking at other pods. Like, what do they have that we don't for real? So I'm saying, that's all right though. We we worry about ourselves. Bro. Like like it's like it's like they have better production, obviously, but like yeah, we still do. In my opinion, we still do quality content and sh you know yeah, shit like that. Something. Like I guess I guess maybe yeah I don't, I don't know. Maybe we'll change the scenery. You guys want to pot on a New Jersey Turnpike? Put yeah, it in the comments. No no <laughs> no no changing the scenery. I, but then again, like who? What podcast really changed the scenery exactly. a lot? Like nigga, imagine us doing a pod in, on the on the side of the on the turnpike. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna be in that episode. But I <laughs> mean, know, maybe that... in like maybe a pod in. Mm, I don't know. I want to do public podcasts. I was telling you. Oh about yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Public podcasts, definitely. I, I'll probably I'm... try that out this year when it gets warmer. We'll see how the spring looking. Yeah, yeah the spring. The spring yeah. will be tough. Yeah. So we'll see. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Like, comment. Like I said before, I'm not gonna keep threatening y'all because I feel bad. I don't. Tyrone, UJ, they, they was threatening your family, families. I ain't gonna threaten y'all, but I want you, like the video. There's hundreds of y'all that watch every week. If all y'all, if all, all y'all like it, there'll be more people. More people 
yeah. brings more opportunities. More opportunities brings better podcasts. I'm trying to tell y'all. That's a fact. Post notifications. It's so simple. Just press a button. You'll know when yeah, to be. Just click the bell. You watch it regardless. Click the damn bell. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that, that hard. hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Shout out to Bottle Joy for sponsoring our podcast. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You have you have you seen Bottle Joy? Nah. Bro, Bottle Joy, it's a first of all, 32 ounce bottle. That's two water bottles. It could keep your water, whatever you want in here, cold for up to 18 to 24 hours. 18 to 24 hours. That's and look, it, get, it comes with handles. It comes with little latches. You can make it like a little satchel and shit. If y'all, uh, all y'all that like camp, camping and like adventuring, you can bring this. It's great. They got different colors. See. Look, feel that. Bro, this shit is like, it's not no cheap shit either, nah, bro. It, it is really not. It's not no cheap shit. It's some oh, good yeah, shit, this bro. Is, this is tough. This bro, is tough. I'm saying, nah, bro. It's tough. Shout out Bottle Joy. Shout out Bottle If you want your bottle, there's different colors. Uh, link in bio, hopefully. If there's a link in bio, that means they gave me a link. I've been talking, we've been talking back and forth about the, you know, codes and stuff, but code no regulars in the comments or in the bio, you know what I'm saying? But we got a good show for you guys today. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. We got a lot of new things to talk about. Yeah. But the first thing I want to talk about is, if you guys are watching this, the All-Star game was recently this this weekend. I want to know, what are game. your thoughts of the, the All-Star, All-Star weekend? All-Star game, All-Star game, All-Star game. Let's Let's discuss. Okay, so should we start from day one or should we go all around like day one, as in like Friday with the celebrity showcase and the the whole? Okay, we we could do that, or or you want to do overall? We can do. We'll do. We can we can do well, day by do, day. Or day by day. Okay, cool. So that nigga Michael Parsons is a fiend. That nigga <laughs> was playing like he was gonna get a ten day contract. Yes, <laughs> that man was running over women. Yeah, he, consistently. He, yeah, I I don't understand why he was taking it so well. Okay, so I understand. <laughs> you know why I understand? Why? And don't understand, right? From a competitive standpoint. He's a yeah, a competitive standpoint. Yeah, like bro, when you play, when we when we play basketball, bro. Yeah, we're never. We're not getting. We're not playing to get like a ten day contract, but we play like it. Yes, you know what I'm saying. Because you want to win. Because we want to win. Yes, but I don't think but he that, wanted to. But win. listen, I think he wanted that MVP. MV- yes, that's I what think he, that's what he cared more. About. Yes, <laughs> and not only that, because CJ Stroud was probably on talking his, shit. Yeah. Was was but he was know, getting buckets like cool though. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was getting. He wasn't trying too hard. Yeah, he wasn't trying too hard. But but listen, he. Where was that? He was at um competition. Yeah, competition, bro. Yeah. We when we play basketball, when niggas used to play basketball mm-hmm. seriously. Yeah. Uh it was always trying to win. Yeah. Like we 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 would talk shit with each other, does that there no hard first, feelings. First try to kill me one time. He's not gonna okay, say, he okay, try to okay. kill me one time. <laughs> one time, <laughs> one time I got mad. <laughs> I got mad because I got plucked. Yes. And <laughs> the nigga, it just, it was just like, and he wasn't even the one who plucked me. Exactly. It, was, it wasn't it, me. It was it, it, like, if nigga. you guys don't know what plucked mean, it's getting the ball stolen from. But yeah, he somebody stole the ball from me. Jordan stole the ball from me. Pat, Jordan passed the Darius. Darius had a fast break. I like a close line. I close line. <laughs> like crazy. And I, uh, I, but that's what <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. And not only that too. Like I didn't even care about basketball at that time. But once you're in the midst of playing basketball or midst of playing any Anything, sport that yeah. you like, that competitive drive. If you do, if you are a competitive person, and everybody, yeah. When I mean everybody in this group is competitive when it comes to gaming. What whatever it is, we're a bunch of tryhards. We're we're a bunch of tryhards. Even so, Chris. even Chris, like and Chris, Chris won't show it. He won't show it, but he will but act he, it. But he will act, he will and act. you could tell that. Oh, this nigga trying hard. I I knew it when when we play two K. He always puts you. You be on, you be on the he same be team on the him. same team as yeah. him, bro. Yo, and even Chris, Chris, Chris wants to win too. Like yeah. you might see him as a, you know. But anyways, mm-hmm. competitive. We always try to win. So I understand. That he wanted the MVP, he wanted to be better than his guy CJ Shroud. Because yeah. CJ Shroud could ball too. CJ yeah, yeah. Shroud had like thirty something too, I think. I think like thirty two. Yeah, yeah. 
He been better he, than T Jazz. Yeah, he played. <laughs> yeah, T Jazz was he 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 was T Jazz was going crazy. Yeah, he, I think he had like ten assists, mm-hmm. twenty some points, some uh, uh no ten rebounds. Yeah, six. but anyways, I could see why he was playing that hard, <laughs> and not only that, this in front of millions of people yeah. that are watching. You can't. That's that's can't, another thing. You can't look ass. You can't look crazy ass. But listen, I don't understand. That you're running over women. <laughs> I don't understand that you're like literally. First of all, he took like 30 something shots. 30 shots. Like 30? on a celebrity basketball game? I'm um, no. They was not passing Kai the ball. They, w- I felt bad for Kai, bro. <laughs> Kai was wide open, bro. Yeah. I would have been tight too. Yeah. I he he played tight. five minutes. Yeah. He, yeah. Like they. <laughs> I felt, Shaden I, Sharp did him dirty too. Why did Shaden try to? Yeah, he that nigga uh, try to try to cheat. Now he not trying to cheat. He try to. He's trying too hard too, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Because that nigga had all the starters out. That one Asian guy from the K-pop was. Oh was, yeah, yeah. He was. He was. He yeah. was not passing the ball either. He was, he was doing euro yeah, step. Yeah. Yo, I remember Kai was wide open on a fast break. He just did a euro step in this. Yeah, bro. Like I'm like. Oh man. I just felt bad for Kai because. Like, like, what was a, what was literally what was the point of him being there? His name. Because of his name, yeah. Like you point. just use you just use the nigga for his name and it, like at least like I, I at least Kevin Hart Kevin Hart was going crazy was going crazy like he they get, I mean Kevin Hart could actually like he could play a little yeah, he bit. played basketball yeah but they like locked up Kyle Lowry He's yeah like, yeah he could he could play he could play a little bit but Kyle still Lowry, though gonna... like like let other niggas have fun you know you're not getting a ten day contract like, bro I'm end, sorry like. like you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like I can admit if you shoot if you thir- shooting thirty shots, but you laughing about joking. This nigga was like, this nigga was mad. <laughs> like he was just like he was in the football field. Yes, like, like he was he, complaining about. He, yeah, yeah. He. That's I guess I, I, you. I, I I that's why I'm saying I I get it because he is a competitive person. But you gotta realize but you're you gotta six re- four two fifty. Yeah, you're just bigger than everyone there. No neck, just and, out there bull rushing everyone. And you just like at this at some point you had to be like, man, I might be tweaking a little bit. Exactly, I might be embarrassing I myself. Might be embar- like you. I'm looking like I'm doing too much. Here. Exactly. You know, like I, I'm I, like you're obviously better than like ninety percent of the players that were there. My yes. Nigga. Yeah. Why are you tweaking? Like one of them motherfuckers could get injured. Like exactly. and then like you tweak. Now you now you got a lawsuit. Now you got a lawsuit. But, but I just feel like, like I said, like but he really won that that MVP. Like I think he that's got it. he. Yeah, I mean, congrats, you got it. You know, and you could tell that he could ball. Like yeah, he played. But, I think they was talking him and uh, CJ Stroud was on his podcast. They were talking about they used to play basketball and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I CJ remember CJ like talking 40. about you know, Hyman. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. I, congrats, you got it and shit. But come on, bro. Like, come on, that celebrity serious. basketball game. That's like, what I'm saying. But I like the celebrity I did, game. Did though. you hear that? Um, you know, Chris Brown was ele- was supposed to be in there. Really? Yeah. When was the last yeah. time he played? It was like like five years ago. It was mad long ago. But yeah. you know, so Chris Brown could ball. Yeah. But um, so, you know, supposedly this is what he says. Yeah. Uh, be- uh, because the sponsors. Oh, was uh, not. wasn't fuck you know it's Chris Brown yeah and, yeah, uh, yeah what he did back in the day oh. right so he couldn't so they they wanted him to play and then they said I guess uh, a couple of days maybe weeks maybe months I don't know prior mm-hmm. to the game yeah they said yeah nah we we're not yeah we're not gonna yeah you can't play in this and third oh. okay so I got a question for you yeah. Do you think them niggas should just forget about what he did? Who, Chris Brown? Yeah. Um, he was young. You know, the guy's thirty now, thirty something. I I don't think they should forget about it, but I don't think they should like hold it hold over it, his uh, head hold consistently. It, hold it, yeah, hold it. Because I yeah. feel like there's people that have done way worse, and oh, they don't yeah. get like scrutinized for it as much as he does. Yeah, yeah he got, he's getting scrutinized like, still I've, to this day. Like niggas have seen. He was eighteen. Twenty. Yeah, nah, yeah, in that age, it was yeah. he was pretty young. Yeah. It, it happened a minute ago, but I just felt like now it's it shouldn't be that crazy. 
Like it should like they had, they made a whole documentary about it. Like yeah. this nigga is like the cover artist of domestic of violence. Domestic violence. I, I think it's because who he did. Yeah, it to. that's the ruling. If it was like same same thing like with all these athletes and shit, they did it. If he did, if they did it to like somebody famous, like to like Rihanna, like if Travis Kelsey did. Oh my god, that would have been bad. He might die. Like yeah. I lie, somebody might call a hitman on that man. Yeah, it would it would be bad. If if Travis Kelsey ever like put his hands on Taylor Swift, that'd be so bad. Yeah, it'd be it'd be bad. Oh my god! Like I think his career is over. Yeah. Oh my god, that bro. First of all, one, the NFL is gonna lose so much money. Definitely. Cause one, the the Swifties, bro, all them people, they don't play. They don't play around. They rich. They got. There's a lot of them. They not. They, they will. They will. They will create a protest against the NFL to yeah. make sure he don't play. Yeah, they don't play. Which is wild. They don't play. So that's something like. <laughs> that's crazy. I, how much power fans have. Fans have exactly. Like, so it's crazy. If that was, that's what I'm saying. That's a scary realm he's in right now. But Travis Kelsey is a good guy, though. Yeah, Travis Kelsey is a good guy. Like, I mean, him and his ex girlfriend, the black girl. Yeah, the black girl and shit like that. I think. <laughs> what they broke up over some bullshit. It was like I, I guess what she. I guess I forgot too. I don't know the thing about him not paying for. The meals and shit. Yeah. I forgot. Like it was some petty shit. It was some. It was some. Well, I don't think that's why they broke up. But I feel a like reason. I think yeah, not even a reason. But like that's all that came out. Like oh, he he didn't use to pay for the meals and then that there I would pay for that shit. Yeah, like okay. So with the Travis Kelsey and oh wait no and Taylor Swift shit yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Do you think the media is, like, doing too much with that shit? I, I think they are. I what do you mean? Like, showing them too much? Yes. I think, honestly. I feel like, yo, Taylor Swift. <laughs> I feel like Taylor Swift is, uh, the the amount of times I see her, bro, I feel like she fucking running the NFL, my nigga. She bigger lie. than the NFL. Yeah. But the way they, they doing it. Because I feel like, this is what it is, bro. I think with Taylor Swift, you like, she's not really in, like, the media. She's in the media, but it's not, like front page every time yeah. but now that she's with a big company like the nfl she's going to continuously be on top of on the cover of it especially since they won the super bowl now and they're on yeah. she, she's the cheese player she's gonna be up there i just feel like because i feel like they treat her like like how because rihanna is really famous but the, rihanna's not in the the covers every time that's how yeah, she was now sure, yeah. but now that she's dating a nigga on the cheeses which is they're in like the dynasty mode and shit like that. that's like if somebody if steph curry wasn't married and like Rihanna started dating Steph Curry, it'll be the same shit. Yeah, it would be. Or like Clay thing. Thompson or something like that. It'll yeah. be the same thing. But yeah, I just feel like that's the only reason why they've been like pushing it crazy. Word. And just, plus, they, yo, nigga, you got Taylor Swift there. Yo, you know what I mean? Fans they, that never watch football, they'd be like, Taylor Swift, what's she watching? Football Chiefs? Oh, I'm a Chiefs fan now. Literally, mm-hmm. that's it. Facts. Bro, I heard they they she made them in the span of like a couple games four hundred million dollars. Wow, that's a lot well, of money for her not doing nothing. Nothing, just, just being there. Appearing. Some bullshit, it's crazy. bro. Some bullshit. I don't understand. It's crazy. But, yeah. So, how about... Now we go into the All-Star Weekend Saturday. So, Saturday that was night. A, what? The dunk contest, three-point contest. Oh. Uh, dunk con- Okay. You want to go? You, you want to go? Yeah. I'll go. Yeah, dunk go. contest is mid. I'm not going to lie. It's very bad. Awful. One, the judges. Y'all old niggas who, or y'all old people that be, that be judging, that be picking the judges because it's from... Uh, there used to be dunk contest champs, or they f- are from the city. Stop picking those people, please. Can you pick some entertaining guys mm-hmm. with some commentary? Let why don't you let the people that like Kenny Smith and uh and Charles Barkley be the judges yeah, again, yeah, bro? Yeah, yeah. Or have yeah. one of them on there like they did before. Yeah. Bro, I'm tired of seeing. These... Shaq wasn't a judge. Right? No, nah, Shaq wasn't a judge. He, he was. He, out need, there. he needs to be a judge, like... bro. They just be jumping over Shaq like it's cool. Can y'all stop jumping over Shaq, please? Yeah, leave that nigga alone. Let like, him damn, let him enjoy his life. Like, like he oh, he getting called up like, hey, come on, Shaq, put right. this jersey on. Let me like, what's wrong with y'all? Another one. Jalen Brown should Both. have not made it to the finals. Okay, that was the craziest thing I ever seen in my life. Oh, no, bro, you know why Jalen Brown was there though? Oh yeah, because he's trying to show that like, oh, all stars can do it too. Bro, you did ass. He's trying. Okay, so obviously, obviously, the dunk contest hasn't been nearly as popular. As since Zach Levine and yes. Aaron Gordon, twenty sixteen. I'll never forget that. I was at. Out back watching that shit. Bro, just fucking... It was a great time. Yeah. Great time. So, obviously, the dunk contest hasn't been 
nearly as popular nope. as that. They had to bring someone like Jalen Brown, an all-star, a superstar, whatever. To build the hype to, back up? To build the hype back up. To bring some type of notoriety, some, some type of name to the dunk contest. Because I feel like they knew he wasn't going to do too much. Yeah. They knew he just wanted, he just had to be there and just do shit. I just feel like they don't, they're running out of people to use. Yeah, bro. They're using two-way and G League guys. Yeah. And rookies. Yeah, because no, I don't nobody think anybody, wants no nobody more. wants to do it, bro. Like, first of all, the superstars are too afraid of being hurt. Yeah. Bro, Kobe used to do that shit. Kobe, Vince. But they did it when Fuck. they was younger, though. They did it when they were younger. No, but I'm talking about like, oh, like what superstar? Yeah, like Zion, like yeah. or like Anthony Edwards, or like yeah. t- fucking who else? Ja Morant. Yeah. I don't fucking know. Like, th- like somebody, like somebody. It's yeah. superstars used to do this shit. I know. Like super, t- like Jordan did it. Like Kobe did it. D- Dominic Wilkins, Vince, like all them niggas did it. But like, it's like, it's just not the way it was before bro it's just niggas I, is and lazy. i think i think they should really if no one's gonna do like like if they're gonna have to continuously bring up bring mac McCull- yeah, mcclung no, back into that guy, shit bro they might as well take that fucking g league shit off like i'm not g league shit um the take dunk the dunk con- contest off all together bro this and what, like re reinvent something else like this is what i think they should do now i think i heard this from somewhere but they were saying you get like these professional dunkers that do this for yeah, a living. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you that. have these the all the stars bet on who they who they think is gonna win. Yeah, so yeah. they'd be like they're sponsoring that guy. Yeah, they have like like a captain, like like or like yeah, they're sponsoring that guy. Or I don't know, like or I don't know. They have captain, like they have or, team Anthony Edwards. Yeah, team. you could do something yeah, like that. You have three choose, on three. They choose. They choose. Yeah, or they they choose. Which dunker like they want like that nigga? What's his name? Like that nigga Michael. Um, it starts with a K. That nigga. Oh, I know you're talking with about the, with the yeah with the different hair. Yes. That white boy, bro. Yes, that hey, could he jump. Brought, yeah, he he was there one time. Yeah, he was there one time. He just did one. But yo, St- Stephen A. Smith. Um, he he brought that up. He said, yeah. "Yo, just bring up the bring. There's so many dunkers. Yes, in social media that you could bring." Exactly. They so do it for many. a living. They do it for a living. Just they dunk for a living. Give Just them some bread. publicity. These the NBA players already got bread. They not yeah, they already got bread. That that couple thousand that you given they, they don't mean shit to them. Yeah. That's why they don't even do the all star game like that. They don't yeah. give a fuck about no hundred K. Bro. They getting paid millions. So so um yeah, bring dunkers that they actually dunk for a living. Yes, please. Uh, please. Um, and try to try to. I don't know, like because first of all, Jalen Brown, bro, that was so pathetic. That was bad. Michael, I love I. I rep- yo, I respect you, Jalen Brown. For no, no, you're you're you you ball, bro. You you go crazy. Bro. I respect you for doing that, and I respect you for going for the big three. Yeah, but that showing that shit was It's horrible. like you went. You, it's like you didn't even think about or practice this jump, bro. Right? I seen him. <laughs> yo, that nigga, that nigga dunked. And he forgot to the dab, to, nigga, to blind his eye. Like, yeah, he did it last minute. He, he already dunked minute. it. I'm like, bro, you already dunked that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well just not do it. He it tried. Might. He knew that shit look ass, so he tried to. That was so, oh my god, he really made. it So to the I'm finals. like, he made it. He, if he made it to the finals, bro, yeah, they're they're on. To, they're trying to make it. They I, they knew. I feel like they already knew Mac McClung and Jalen Brown was gonna be in the finals. No, already. Hey, bro. At this point, you might as well have the three point contest be last. Oh yeah, the three point contest is always. First of all, the three point contest has always been pretty decent. Pretty decent. Because now they're making a lot. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, they're ma- like these are great ass shooters. Like, yeah. you're not seeing the best dunkers in the NBA. Yeah, dunk of the ball. These are the best shooters. Yeah, these guys. Well, it's not like like you see Steph Curry and shit like that. But yeah, every time. But, most of them. but you you want to see Steph Curry every fucking year? I mean. I mean, maybe all I these guess. guys shooting over forty, bro. Oh, I mean, Steph Curry played um versus Sabrina, which was she, a good. She almost won, bro. Steph Curry. I mean, Sabrina's no joke, bro. I didn't think she was gonna that girl. Was a shooter, there. bro. I don't know. She is shooter. I thought she was gonna. You know, she one. holds the record still. I know. What was it like 20... 20, 30, like thirty seven. That's wild. She missed one shot. That's od. 
She goes crazy. Bro. She's a demon. I'm saying. <laughs> I, have a, I have another recommendation that the All-Star Game should do, if y'all hear this. King of the Court. Oh, King of but the Court would be crazy. you have, we're going to, you got to bring, like, only guards, though. Mm. I don't want to see no big man posting up. Hell no. Nah. Make it, like, a cash prize of, like. Guards to forwards. Yeah, guards the forwards. Yeah, like, but nothing no, too no, crazy. I don't yeah, want no, no power tall forwards. Nigga. No power forwards. Like a KD, like a KD forward. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's like niggas that are known for either shooting tough buckets, ones, yeah, or dribbling. Yeah, yeah. One, so niggas yeah. like Kyrie, Kyrie, nigga, Paul George, Paul George, KD, KD, shit like like you remember in the in the USA Olympics, camp Olympics. Yes. Yep, something oh, like that. That was bro. that was amazing. If you could bring that to crazy. the literally, they do that every day. Yeah. So if if they don't want to play in that, y'all weird as hell. Y'all literally do that every single day. Y'all don't want to do it in front not, of people. And not only not scared. that, not only that, if you seen the USA clip, they wasn't like going crazy on like for, to the point where somebody was gonna get injured. Yeah, like, it was like playing. It was totally. just like you feel me. They was they was doing they was doing the look. Nah, that 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 shit was tough. Katie was going stupid. No, they that, need like, to bring that. Bring that. Bring that. You yeah. will make so much money, yeah. Adam Silver. I'm talking to you. Mm-hmm. You will make so much money if you do that. King One of the, king court, of the court for bre- you might not even have to make it for bread. You could just have like incentives. Yeah, whatever. That'd be put it in niggas' contracts if you become that. Yo, yeah, because the dunk bread. contest ain't ain't hitting, bro. It's I'm not, sorry, bro. bro. I'm sorry. King of the hill games to first person to score eleven. Every if you score, next person up. If you lose, if you lose, if you don't make the shot, switch. Yeah, keep going back and forth. But that's what Fire. people want. And now the all star game. Now, Luca sold my money. Uh, Steph Wait, Cur- you, you, yeah, you, I bet you bet on. I bet first. I, I won that the East one. I bet that the I bet ten dollars at the East one. I won twenty dollars, but then I bet five dollars for four hundred. Luca just had to score ten above ten and a half or eleven. Jokic had to score six and a half. I got that one. Tatum had to score over twenty five. You said for four hundred. Five dollars to four hundred dollars. Yes. God damn, bro. Steph Curry. Was supposed to get over 21 points. He had 20. Tatum was supposed to get fucking 25. He had 20. Luca was supposed to get 11. He had 7. He missed that, that dunk Lu- and the layup. That nigga Luca was just heaving full court shots. Yes. Like three of them. Bro. Or something. Like, they sold my bread. Now, I don't care. Like, people are saying the All-Star game was terrible. I don't really care. I didn't think. I, I thought it was entertaining. I ain't going to lie. Just because. Maybe it's because I bet. And I'm like, yeah, you, you, it, that's that's. I'm why. like into it. That's, that's the only why. reason why. Because I'm telling you, betting low key, you get you get. You know, me and JB doing it sometimes, or we're starting to get into it a little bit because we have like the free bets and shit, bro. We just we be so into the game yeah, now. You get, yeah, you getting into that. Shit. I get sold so crazy, bro. Piss. But listen, All Star Game. What do you think, bro? First of all, I don't know why they took off the target. The target points thing. I think they was trying to go back to like how it used to be. Okay, if you're trying to go back to how it used to be, I, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. The bet, the bet. Uh, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. The best thing is to actually start taking it a little bit more serious, bro. Cause listen, bro, I don't want to see fucking dunks all day. At least, as long as it be cool though. If it's cool, cool. I want to see talking shit. I want niggas playing one on one. Yeah, That's like it. like you know, I want to see shit like that. I want to see, I want to see the the type shit where we try cramming know, on some nigga when you when you trying to dunk on somebody or like or like when one of the persons on each team, you feel me, is going back and forth shooting shots like that. Dion Waiter. Um, Tim Hardaway, Tim Hardaway yeah. shit, or like Brandon Knight and Kyrie shit. Like yes. I'm, I'm trying to see shit like that. Yeah, I'm trying to see shit, see shit like that. Like obviously, like they're gonna shoot three point shots or whatever. And but I don't want to see no the lack of defense, bro. When fourth when fourth quarter comes, bro, I feel like y'all need need to lock in, bro. Same, bro. Need to lock in, like they like, used to do that before. But I think this time they was like so far back, like they didn't want to do too, it. No yeah, it's too. Yeah, it but too early, I don't bro. know, bro. I, the All Star game was kind of out this year. I was kind of feeling like, damn, I'm feeling like the dunk contest this year. Yeah, because it's just not the same, my nigga. 
Yeah. It's just it's just not. Like I I I I like see, you you got the best basketball players in the world. Yeah. All in one court. And I'm seeing mid mid and cat cat having 40 off of straight dunks and shit like that, bro. No, he had 50. 50 off of straight dunks. Yeah. They look, I don't want to see that. Some some nigga, I think it was Steven A. He suggested like instead of like an all-star game five on five, you do like a three on three tournament. Type shit. Nah. You could do that too. Hey man. NBA. But, the, but knowing them, shit, them bro. niggas not gonna take a ser- take that shit serious neither. We'll see, bro. Like, like I'm trying to niggas see gotta... I'm trying to see some shit. Like, I'm trying to see like niggas guarding niggas. Like I, I loved when I tell you I loved seeing and it wasn't even all star game. It was a rising star game. Like I love seeing Dion Waiters and Tim Hardaway going back and forth. That shit was lit to me, bro. I was yeah. like, yo, this is crazy. Like them both them niggas going stupid right now. Yeah. Like I like seeing shit like that. Like niggas go, like competitive. Competitive. At, at least yeah, I need Michael Parsons. Like I don't want to. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't want to see niggas like going stupid to where I'm gonna be like, you're trying to. Right, you trying to, hard, bro? Yeah. Like chill out. But at least, like, a little bit of defense. Like, once a nigga get past you, them niggas, like, all right. And they don't even jump to block the ball. Like, it's just, like, it was, hey, just, it was just it was just whatever, bro. The, the NBA, fixture, NBA the, the shit, All-Star bro. weekend was very, like, it wasn't. It what was, would you rate out of 10? It wasn't entertaining to me. Six. Like, this, like the skills challenge wasn't even entertaining to me, bro. Whatever it that was. That nigga Scotty bro. Barnes was crashing. That, nigga that was, shit was too funny. That nigga, like, it was just, it was just whatever. And well, I'll give it, like, a. I'll give it 6.5. Get it a 5. Yeah. it's It was mid. It was mid. It was mid, bro. Shout out Dame Lillard, though, for winning MVP. Yeah, shout I out Dame I should have bet money on you. Yeah, yeah shout, shout out Dame Lillard, bro. But I was speaking about Dame Lillard because I just realized, right, that nigga... Steph Curry is living Dame's dream, bro. What do you mean? All right, think about it like this. Steph, the only, Steph Curry is the greatest shooter ever. Yeah. Damian Lillard plays is exactly like Steph Curry. Yeah. D- Dame, this nigga Steph Curry plays in Golden State Warriors in Oakland. Nigga, Dame yeah, is from Oakland. From, yeah. Think about it, my nigga. Yeah. This nigga does the same exact thing Steph Curry does. Yeah. But he's in Portland. He was in Portland, booty ass Portland, very depressing ass Portland. Yeah. Wow, this light skinned brother is doing it's the same thing you do doing. Winning championships. winning championships, creating a dynasty in your hometown, doing the same thing you did. Yeah. And you could have been there. Yeah. You just didn't get drafted there. Yep. Out, yo, that's like, I remember it was the same thing like in baseball. There's a uh, Mike Trout and um, oh, what's the nigga? Har- Bryce Harper. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Mike Trout from Jersey, you know that, right? Oh, Mike Trout, he lived in uh, Cherry Hill well, from down that. south. So he grew up a Phillies fan, but he, he plays on the Angels. Bryce Harper uh, got traded to the Phillies. As soon as he got traded to the Phillies, back to back, he got, uh, I think, got a couple, maybe like an MVP. But like he'd been bringing them to, not MVP, but he'd been bringing them to the World Series and shit and bringing them far. But people were saying like Bryce Harper is living Mike Trout dream because he's oh, he's been a Philly, diehard Philly fan his whole mm-hmm. life. And he always wanted to play there, but he he's loyal to the. Loyal to the Angels, yeah, just like how yeah. Dame was loyal to the yeah, fucking to Portland, Blazers. Yeah. So they're like, this nigga is living your dream in your home place. Yeah. And you just being too stubborn to go there. But it's like, this nigga, like, it's crazy how people forget that Dame really does the same shit Steph Curry does. Shoot he from does. the logo, shoot all that. But they, they mean, they, Dame's numbers get- are stupid too like, exactly. like he's really efficient from back, from back there but it's cuz he's in he's in portland nobody talks about him a lot he don't really he don't get out the second round he don't it, he don't get the recognition because yeah. somebody is doing it not may, well maybe not better but in a bigger setting than him yeah. so now niggas don't even realize who he is okay so well now he's in the bucks so like what do you think that's gonna like help bring N- not anymore because he's it's too late he's now. going yeah he's already going to down um he's already aging bro. aging yeah, yeah it's all it's over yeah i mean if he wins a championship then congrats but like bro. it's crazy because he never well steph curry played like that his whole life though he has dame, like literally his whole life dame didn't me like he played like but Dame was really athletic coming into Portland like yeah. like starting in draft like he was like he he, he would go into to the basket and shit like that like he was always a decent shooter but 
Steph Curry was a sh- like he was shooter from college to yeah to now, bro. And it's crazy. They both went to small schools. Yeah, Weber, free, and D- free D- <laughs> Davidson, free that nigga. Yeah, Dame, bro. <laughs> uh, I mean, I do feel bad for um, Dame. Dame at a point. To a certain extent. But to a certain extent, because at the end of the day, he's still a top 75 player of all time. Which is crazy, because niggas like, why is Dame Lillard? That's what I'm saying, bro. He's His numbers his numbers says... Bro, he's like top you know, five and three-pointers yeah, made. He, his number says, you know, it, 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 it backs his shit if up. If there was no Steph Curry, it would be Dame Lillard. Dame could probably, yeah, would probably be the best... The best shooter of all time. He probably he would catch he could catch, catch up the, a, he yeah. could catch the Real. There's no Steph yeah. Curry. He would have been caught up the Real. He, he would have caught up the Real. Come on, I bro. Feel like. But um, <laughs> yeah, I, I I feel bad for him to a certain extent, but because you know people, you're gonna have those trolls be like, yeah, oh Steph Curry's your dad. Yep. Oh your dad Steph Curry does not third. But at the end of the day, bro, I, I don't think he cares as much as other people may say. Other people may say like Same. I feel like because. At the end of AP, you know, you guys are two different people. You guys have different paths. Yeah. And Steph might have the more successful path, but at the end of the day, bro, mm-hmm. you're, he's a future. You both are two future Hall of Famers. Both are, and Dame still has time to get some rings. Yeah. He still has time to get, you know, a few hopefully. rings. Hopefully. If hopefully because, Giannis yeah, stays. Hope, yeah, yeah. I think Giannis will be loyal and to, to the Bucks. I feel like. I don't know, bro. We'll see. <laughs> you need you need some strong coaching staff. I don't know why. Oh they, yeah, yeah, you can, yeah. The 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 rotation with the coaches, and I feel like isn't Doc Rivers a new coach now? Yep. Uh, I think he's gonna be out of there in a in a, in a couple in a couple. Give it give it like a, maybe a year. Yeah. I don't know. So we'll see, man. We'll see. But I got a question for you, my brother. What up? So your life is on the line. You've been kidnapped. Your life is on the line. You must do this act in order to survive. Uh, what act, my nigga? Don't blow me. No, it's not that it's not gay. Oh, all right. <laughs> so they're telling you to go on a light jog. Just jog. The f- the longer you jog, the better the better your chances of survival are. How long you think you could jog for? Jog? Light jog. A light jog? Man, I could light jog for hours. Like I ain't gonna lie, I got like three days in me. Three, four days. I can jog for four, three, four days. Uh, I don't think. Wait. So. No, 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 no. Five. I don't think so. I can jog yeah, five. Days. Nah. F- think you're about fooling it. yourself. I don't know who. <laughs> I don't know who you think you're fooling, but it's not me. Fritz, your life on the line. You, you don't can't think- light jog for five days straight. <laughs> yes. No sleep. No, nah, bro. You're lying. Okay. Get now, the fuck out look, of here. All right. Bro, four, four, four. No, I don't even think you could jog for days. Well, I think. Two days max, you could like draw up. Nigga, if I if you if y'all niggas are ki- are consistently like if they're like giving me fuel, I'll be good, bro. What's light jogging like? Like like a like a this, my nigga. Like that. <laughs> like this. Yo, you tell me you can't do this for four days. No, I can't do this for four <laughs> days, <laughs> bro. Look fuck? like this. Can you walk for four days straight? Oh, that's a good question. I could probably go for longer. Nah, you can't. <laughs> No, you can't. No, you can't. I can no, definitely you, walk for like no a week. way. No way. You just, you can put I, I, you can put I, me I, on a treadmill for a week, bro. Oh, you're you're joking. <laughs> Get out of here. Yo, oh, you're bullshitting. Fritz, you're li- you go yo, on a treadmill. Yo, I'll put that easy. shit on one, bro. Yo, it's easy to say that, bro. You're <laughs> fucking bullshit, yo, bro. Fritz, a the, treadmill. I'm not talking. I'm putting that on one speed. There is walking. For four days straight, you're not. <laughs> it's not even physically. It's mentally, bro, bro. Not only that, you're tired. You're not sleeping, bro. But I'm not. Think I'm about burning it. that. Like honestly, I want to try that one day. You you think you could try to walk? I think I could walk for a couple for of days. a week. Okay, I don't know about. I might be stretching a week, but maybe a couple of days though. Okay, a couple of days. I might get so, like three, okay. four days in me. Three, four days of walking. Of walking. Yeah. You just said three, four days of jogging. But that's that's like, even worse. But the jog I'm doing is like this. That's basically a walk. So I, mean, I might have been exaggerating the jog. I could do like maybe two, three days. Okay. That's not I bad. I think you're lying too, still. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like. If your life you got, depended on it. I feel like you got a whole one and a half days in you, bro. You said one and a half days? Yeah. What? That's it? Yeah, for you. How about, how about you, bro? How about. For if, me, bro. Like, say they put you on a treadmill, they'll give you like food and stuff. They they just want to see. They just torture. They just want to see how long you 
they give you food, water, all that. They just want to see how long you can jog or walk. To put the treadmill on one. How long are you jog- how long are you walking or jogging on that, bro? I'm telling you, I could do two, three days. That, my- that, you know the thing about it though? It's it's not it's not the jogging that's gonna make me My like, feet gonna hurt. It's not the jogging. What is it? It's the it's the it's the sleep, lack of sleep. I mean, yeah. That's what's going to fuck me up. But, like, what am I going to... I'm just going to, like, collapse? Think about well, it. Well, it's not like you're going to collapse. That's what I'm whatever, saying. But you're, gonna, you're probably <laughs> going to be like, oh, shit. Like, damn. Like, you know, you you going you gonna to feel groggy and feel, like, sluggish, bro. I'm going to try to see how long I can walk for. How I don't think you can that? walk for... Listen, bro. I be working, bro. Yeah. I be on my feet. Yeah. For 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 a while, bro. <laughs> Ten hours, bro. Yeah, that shit hurt. <laughs> you not making it. <laughs> so how long? And you... not only that, you still get breaks in between. You not making it, bro. How long you think you got? Me, bro. I got me. I got. I got at least a day and some change, bro. Like like a day thirty hours. Probably, a day and probably like like <laughs> tw- a day and. Yeah, probably like 30 hours. I'm telling you, it's all mental, bro. I, I probably got like 30 hours. Maybe, maybe like 40 hours. I'm bro. looking, look, look, look. Maybe 40 hours. See, I'm, I'm probably, saying. But you can't, but you said. 72 is not You know that far you went off. from, you know what you said? You went from four to five days. You yeah. went from three to five days. Yeah. Then you went for two to three days. Like, you don't even know, my nigga. I said, over, I get over 50 hours. Nah. Nah? Mm-mm. I think I could do it, bro. My life... Over 50... That's two days. That's two days and... Not, over? Yeah. Nah. 50 minimum. 50 minimum. Nah, so that's two days? Yeah. Nah. You don't think so? I think I can. I don't think you could do it two days straight. Give me... This is what I need. Give me... Give me some water. Some... uh, Some Belvita... Bel, Belvita biscuits. The cinnamon ones. Belvita biscuits. Some water. Uh... And two bangs. I'm good, bro. <laughs> ooh. And, uh, damn, I might need some protein. You said, ooh. <laughs> I Nigga, think, did you just said Belvita biscuits yeah. out of any meal, bro? Bro, Bel- out of Eddie, bro the, Bel- the Belvita little uh, morning biscuits, they give you four hours of energy. Do they? Yeah, them shit's busting, bro. <laughs> them shit's rocking. They look like they like little doggy treats, but them shit's rocking. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> the, the cinnamon jars, bro, them shit's just fire. But, all right, I got another question for you. If you can beat up one person, and if you win, you get their bank account, who are you fighting? Oh, the bank account? You get their whole bank account. You beat them, you get their bank account. What the fuck? I got a I'm list. I'm going for Jeff Bezos off rip. I'm oh, beating his ass. Jeff Bezos is done. Yo, word to I'm beating your ass, Jeff Bezos, Jeff bro. Bezos. Easy. Jeff Easy. Bezos, Um, I got to go for uh, ooh, Oprah. Oprah? Oh, I'm whooping Oprah ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, Oprah. You get your ass kicked. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. This, this, wait. Could we involve women? Nah, I'm whooping your ass, Oprah. <laughs> I'm sorry. You getting whooped. Um, and nobody, 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 nobody safe, bro. Aiden? I ain't you be you fight Aiden? Oh, I'm whooping Aiden too. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I'm whooping your ass too. <laughs> that dude, Jack Darty, whatever his name is, that little nigga. I'll probably be his Who ass that? too. The one that little streamer dude that like looked like a he looked like a kid. He be it's like oh, you know what I'm talking about. His name like Jack Doherty, bro. I I I, I the name sounds familiar, but yeah. I, I just can't put the face with it. I'm trying to think who else would I beat their ass. Probably Donald Trump is done up, but he's type tall. What the f- what that mean? That nigga seventy and eighty or some oh, shit, yeah. bro. I'm Ooh, kicking Biden. his knees. He's done. Oh, he's yeah. to my what the hell? Biden. I'm whooping Biden's ass. I'm whooping Biden. I'm whooping. I'm whooping Donald Trump. I'm whooping. Um, uh, sorry, Kai, you my dog, but Kai Sinat. Yeah. Aiden. Who got bread? Who got the most? Net? Who got the most? Oh, Jeff bread? Bezos. I don't I'm think sorry. I'm fighting you. Getting, you getting? I don't good. think I'm fighting Elon Musk. I because he's about tight. Elon Musk, Aki. but I think Elon Elon got some. I don't know. I think he. I I don't, I don't I think, think I don't think I want to smoke with Elon. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I want to smoke with Elon. 
I don't think I'm out. I don't, nah, I want no. I don't want no smoke with Elon. Bro. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I, I'm cool with that. Elon Mark, Musk. I don't want no smoke with Mark Zuckerberg because I heard he be he be. Yeah, he, he be boxing. Be boxing I'm cool with that. I don't you, want no Mark good, Zuckerberg. You good, buddy? Um, uh, Bill Gates again. Yeah, Taylor ass Swift. Damn. Are we going nigga, that? Nigga went to the woman for real. <laughs> Damn, he Let went not, for a white woman too. <laughs> Let me not say that. Let me not say that. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm kidding. But I ain't gonna lie. What's his name? Ooh. Bill Gates. I'm Bill Gates is Bill done. Gates ass. Bill Gates is done immediately. Yo, there's so many people, bro. I'm oh moving ass, bro. Kevin Hart. Yeah. Oh, can nah, I think Kevin got. Some. I could boot Kevin. I ain't gonna lie. I could. Nah. Ke- I, I'll boot him right in the chest. He's nah, done. I ain't gonna lie. I'm uh, yo. I think Kevin be. I think he type I think Kevin got in hands. Yeah, he type up, and I think like he be he probably be like you know he be in with the rock in them. So he probably, he, probably, he, probably, <laughs> he probably with the rock in them. He probably got like some boxing like lessons. Ooh. And shit. Oh no, but I wouldn't take that nigga serious. I ain't gonna lie. You wouldn't take him serious. I feel like if I got if if Kevin Hart actually became serious, then you actually have to take him serious. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest because I'm like I. Like with the funny niggas, yeah, this is what happens, bro. With the funny niggas, <laughs> you know, niggas be laughing and joking all the time. I feel like with the funny niggas, if when they get serious, bro, you that's when you oh, we probably taking it, we yeah, probably, probably doing it too, too far, much. Yeah. <laughs> like we probably do it too much. We, Some niggas be like, yeah, the fuck out until that nigga. Yeah, you know what I mean? mm-hmm. yeah, but that's what the funny thing. Yeah. Nah, so I, I have that opposite reaction when it comes to funny niggas. It was like, yeah, we, okay, so we probably doing too much right now. Yeah, you know, because yeah. the nigga not laughing right now. Exactly, <laughs> he's, he's a, he like he, he got the straight face. Yeah, on. yeah. So yeah. that's why I feel like if Kevin Hart like actually got pissed, we got mad. I'm be like, oh, okay, chill out, bro. Let's yeah, chill, let's chill on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I think it's deed. Ooh, yeah, I Warren got Buffett. Little, oh yeah, Warren Buffett, you getting. Roundhouse kick. Warren, Warren Buffett. Um, sorry, Ross. I, I, I got. We got called the rappers too, cause they got bread. Or I don't want none of y'all rappers. that got guns though. Nah, nah I'm cool off that. I'm trying to figure out. YK who Osiris. Who that? Oh, YK. Why? That's a yeah. YK. Yeah, YK Osiris. Jacquees. Jacquees is crazy. Nah, Jacquees is crazy. I think got that nigga type of. He is the type of. Yeah, I think he type of. I haven't seen Usher. Oh, I'm beating the hell out of Usher. I don't know about that one, buddy. Wait, why? <laughs> you lost me with that one, buddy. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> you keep that to yourself, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Wait, why? Wait, what? Nah, bro. <laughs> Wait, why not? That nigga. That nigga. Pause, bro. He fit. <laughs> like like the nigga the nigga but I should just look like he don't know how to fight. Nah, I don't know, bro. I should look hella like what nigga don't, don't look like that they don't know how to fight though. I know it'd be the niggas that don't look like they know how to fight that know how they to fight. Know how to fight. Yeah. Like like think about it, bro. I'm trying, All right, bro. I'm trying to think who else. There's there's somebody else in there. There's some, a lot of like small like there's somebody I'm missing. If Stephen Hawking's was alive, oh, he getting boot to the chest, bro. Wow, this nigga went to some <laughs> other place. This disabled, bro, is crazy. <laughs> this nigga went to the disabled motherfucker, bro. Nigga can't do nothing for real. That's crazy. Nah, that's crazy. Yo, I'm telling you, bro. Nah. I, yo, did I ever tell you what I think about Stephen Hawking's, bro? What? I ain't gonna lie, bro. People of the world, I think Stephen Hawking's was faking it. I think he was faking it. And let, I, I have proof now that he possibly was faking it, and he really wasn't that smart. Do you know why? He really wasn't that smart. Do you know why? Why? Because back in the days, before he had all that technology, where he had people talking for him, like had the robot talking because he clicks the button or whatever, clicks the button... He had an interpreter, like a like a translator. You know how he spoke? How he speaks? He's like this. And the translator will speak for him. How the hell does that guy know what he's saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, look, like you you try I'm you translate me, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Like, bro. <laughs> think there's a whole interview of him literally. Translating what Stephen Hawking is saying, he's just like he's just like somebody's asking me. He's like, "Oh, so how did you learn physics or whatever?" Mm. Well, I learned physics when back in the day when you're joking. I promise you, there's a whole video, bro. I'm not lying to you. Nah, you and this is what I think it is, bro. I think somebody, somebody might be smart, or they might be just the stuff he said is just all BS. Just as like 
I don't know if it's like a plant, like an industry plant type of thing, mm-hmm. or like a thing that just like brings attention. But I think it's like somebody is on the other side. Sit like when they hear questions, somebody on the other side is answering it. Like on another computer, like why, li- linking up to like his a uh, linked up to his thing and is like speaking for him. Like he's not really saying nothing. He's a puppet. And like the whole time, I feel like they're just trying to but show why like, him though. They're trying to show like you know just because he's disabled, uh, don't mean he, he's like he can. Like an inspirational yeah, thing. Don't yeah, mean yeah. just because he's disabled. Don't mean he can't do nothing. Yeah. This man written books. This man has created theories, hypotheses. How the hell is he doing this? I and like people and people will never question him because they're like, oh, you're dis- you're questioning the disabled, disabled guy. That's messed up. They will never check him. But I me, never thought about it that way. I'm saying, bro, I got I got to see the interview. Though. I got, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you a video. That shit was crazy. I'm like, there's no way in hell. Maybe this, they have, maybe they have some way. I don't know. Cause like I, under, I understand. Like he, he was, he had a, yo, you know, he was, che- you know, he's cheating, he on, his cheating on his wife. How the- <laughs> yeah, I, I heard about that, and I'm like, uh, I, I didn't understand. I don't, bro. I don't know. I nigga like, cheated on his wife like, multiple times. Like I ain't gonna lie, bro. Is that crazy? Niggas, work? yes, niggas. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. Niggas like, ah, oh, man, cause he that. I rest his soul, bro. Yeah, rest in peace, Steve Hawkins, bro. But you, nigga like that, bro, make niggas look bad. Like, <laughs> like not, not, not try, like, like male, like, as a species. Like, yeah. like we too damn horny, bro. There's no way you disabled like that. <laughs> <laughs> and you still find a way to cheat on your wife. Yeah, you cheating crazy. with his nurse. That's crazy. That's crazy. Do you, all right, who we blaming at this point? The nurse. Because what you, like, at both. He's like, damn, you look. Wait, how's that? Damn, you look so. Was sexy. he talking? I don't know what what is happening. Or was he in the computer with the computer? How did he finesse? That's what I'm saying. How the hell did he finesse the, Ooh, the so nurse? So many questions. I don't know. How the bro. hell did he finesse a nurse to? How did he bag a nurse? What could he have possibly said? I don't know. Like, <laughs> like, come on, bro. Are you serious? Like, like that's crazy. Is, uh, first of all, nurse is, uh, What's wrong? Who is yeah. that lady? I need to figure. I gotta find her. I, 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 I looked her up recently, bro. Wait, does he have kids? I don't know. Wait, nah. I got to look this shit up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Does Steven... Yo, we too damn horny as niggas, bro. Oh, yeah. Nah, that's crazy work. If I'm disabled, bro, I feel like my, I'm bro, he done. He has three kids. If I'm disabled, bro, like, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> like, I'm my, done. Like, I'm done. Yo. Like, I ain't getting no bitches, bro. Yo. How did he find a way to get a... To get... I know. A, the one female. woman that love you. Yeah, bro. For you, yeah, you, you Chiana yeah, is crazy. You violated, yeah, you violated. That's like, crazy. The one woman that would loved you with it, with with well. your disabled disability, <laughs> with the disability, and you decided to cheat on. That's crazy. Work, exactly. Bro. You probably never know. thought you would have found a woman, bro. Nigga can't walk, and and he still find a way to cheat, bro. Nigga can't walk, talk, or whatever, bro, and he still find a way to cheat. But yo, I don't think Stephen don't Hawkins was saying. always in a wheelchair, though. No, he wasn't. He was he wasn't he wasn't born like that. Yeah, he just. I I seen I seen. I, well, I didn't see his doc. I actually would like to see, uh, watch that movie. There was a movie about it. Really? Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. watch that now. I'm kind of interested. I'm now. interested now. I ain't gonna lie. I'm interested, but I think he had it like it started when he was like young. Like, and he knew he was like, gonna get to young. this place. Yeah, to, I, mean, I don't know if it was like it, like was like. I don't know if he knew it was good. he was probably yeah. gonna be in a wheelchair or some shit, but like you know, he started with a cane and shit like that. But I don't know if because he, he literally couldn't like move his jaw. That's how bad it was. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he knew it was gonna be like I, like this progressively like worse. Like he, yeah, my, my nigga was like he was stuck. Like, yeah, literally was just nigga literally just had like a big ass Charlie horse his whole life. Wow, there's. I'm sorry, I had to say that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna take that back. That was bad. <laughs> that was bad. Darius. That was bad. I'm gonna take that back. <laughs> Darius. But I, 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 I still think he might have been. He, low key was faking. Word. Low key. I didn't. I didn't. I gotta see that interview. I didn't see that. I, I'll send you a video about yeah, that. Yeah, send me that. But all right. And I got another thing we could talk about. Um. So, I, another person I thought I could beat up is Cat Williams. I knew he was gonna say that too. Cause I was thinking about it. Cause when I thought of the question, that's when I seen the interview of him and uh, Shannon, it, yeah. uh, Shannon Sharp, which was a great interview, by the way. Great interview. Yeah, great. that shit had like fifty million views. Yo, bro. It, yo, that shit. When I seen when I first of all, I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. I see why it has fifty million views. It is a good ass interview, bro. He was going because in. like for uh, there's water. Oh on shit. It. Because like it's like 
I don't know, like, he, he kept you so fucking, like, interested in what he was saying. Yeah. Like, nobody, first of all, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. I'm not a comedic connoisseur. No, I don't know nothing about it. I don't. Yeah, I don't know nothing that goes on behind the scenes. Yeah. I don't know. Like I didn't watch the Kings of Comedy. I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't I didn't watching. Watch I wasn't watching stand up and shit like that. Mm-hmm. I would only watch shows like Martin, uh, Jamie Foxx show, Bernie Mac show, Bernie Mac show, RP Bernie Mac this Mac answer. Show. So anything that happened behind the scenes or on stand up, I did not understand. Understand. Yeah. I didn't. I was interested in that. That nigga made you interested in anything they were saying. Like, oh, I I went to go look up and sh- and about um the guy on Friday. Um, yeah. What was his name? Uh, Damn, what was his name? He um he Chris Tucker. No, no, the other guy that he was talking about. That he was talking about. Smiley. Uh, was he Smiley? What's his name? I think it was Smiley. I know John. The guy sp- that plays the Santa. I forgot what his name. He, was. Yeah, he he yeah he um he said basically he said. That that guy basically had that guy basically was supposed to play the pimp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Chris Tucker played, mm-hmm. but he wasn't like but Chris Tucker like, wait, how the fuck you playing the pimp this and third? Because I wrote the script and I wrote the shit. Yeah, they all they all low key have beef. They all look and there's a lot of beef in the comedic world Bro. that niggas don't know. Bro. Yeah. That nigga is fucking Fucking um exposing shit, bro. bro that nigga about Cat how Williams. niggas wanna wanna take them niggas in Hollywood is weird as fuck. They wanna take niggas butts and shit yeah. <laughs> on some weird shit. They yeah, want niggas. Bro. They want niggas to 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 you know give niggas head and shit. Yeah, bro. Just to just just for a role in a movie, crazy work, bro. Crazy work, bro. There's more that he exposed, but this nigga Cat Williams on this on the pod, bro. That nigga exposed the whole shit, bro. You seen what he was saying about. How all first of all the first Ricky thing, Smiley Ricky Smiley that's Ricky what his name Smiley. was I was thinking about the I thought it was John Smiley yo I but said, that's I a nigga said, yeah. from the Pistons yeah John Smiley John yeah, yeah. but yo or is that John, John Sully John no John S- Sally John Sally Sally, John Sally. Sally. yep there but, you go so this nigga Cat Williams said that so he basically exposed the whole comedic industry he said that Kevin Hart was an industry plant yeah. Because they was like, yo, think about he, it. He, yep. Think about it. What person had his whole career lined up for him like that? The nigga literally walked into like a, a starting role. Niggas didn't know who he was. Jumped out of seat. I'm going to be honest. I think I believe him. I, I, I'm going to be honest, bro. Yeah. I didn't. When did I find out about Kevin Hart? Soul Plane? That's when I found out. That's the thing, though. I didn't watch the movies like that. I didn't watch the movies like that. I found I probably found out about Kevin Hart probably that um that stand up prior um, the one that, that was on that Netflix stand up yeah the stand up um that was um oh uh, oh he said he ain't got no nipples yeah, that's yeah, probably yeah. where I yeah, found yeah, yeah. about Kevin Hart mm-hmm. that was right that's probably later yeah I never knew that that nigga did movies like movies yes. and shit like that and it just came out of nowhere and he bro. came out of nowhere mm-hmm. i ain't gonna lie i remember like kevin hart and i'm like well i don't remember kevin hart and i'm like yo this nigga, now that i look back at it i'm like yo this nigga came out of nowhere yes i'm gonna be bro. honest with you it's wild and then he said that all of the comedians comedians had to go through a whole humiliation ritual where they had to dress up as women have you seen that one all the all the comedians that like, was on club show yeah, it was on. He said it on Club Shay Shay. He was like all the like all the comedians that you see right now. In order to get famous, they had to dress up like women, as a humiliation oh, ritual. Like like you talk about like um, either if it's in a movie or show, and like I was like yeah, in a movie. Niggas think Cat Williams is crazy, but if you really look back no, at it, I think Cat Williams is smart as fuck, bro. I'm gonna be honest. With think you. about it, Martin Lawrence, big yeah. big mama's big house, mama house, yeah, Wayne's Bros, yep, white chicks, yep, uh. Who played Joanna Man? It was fucking um. Uh, uh, I forgot what the nigga name was. Uh, but I know who you're talking. You know about. what I'm talking about Joanna yeah, Man. Yeah, Joanna Man. Uh, there was another one. Uh, Tyler Perry. Yep. What a woman. Tyler Perry. Uh, uh, fucking <sighs> Eddie Murphy. Yep. So all of them except him, yeah. except Cat Williams, Dave Chappelle. There's Brandy T. G., Brandy T. Jackson too that yeah. played in Big Mama mm-hmm. House too. Yeah. So it was Big them Mama. two. Uh oh yeah, I said Dave Chappelle and Bernie Mac. Yep. Think about it, bro. 
Everybody looks at Cat Williams like he crazy. No. Nigga, they, they almost canceled Dave Chappelle. And Bernie Mac is dead, bro. Mm-hmm. R.I.P. Bernie Mac. R. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I might just be connecting dots yeah, that are not supposed to be so. connected. But that's crazy work, though. That yeah. Those are the niggas that refuse. And those are the niggas that be talking about real shit mm-hmm. in the thing. Like, they be, like, Dave Chappelle be talking about it all the time. Bernie Mac used to talk about it all the time. Cat Williams said that niggas in the industry didn't like Bernie Mac. Yeah. Because they said he was more funny than him. They was more popular than him. They yep. was all jealous of Bernie Mac. Yep. So, you know how Bernie Mac died? It was like pneumonia or some shit like that. Oh, really? Pneumonia. Oh, I didn't know that. Bro, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know if dying of pneumonia is common, but I would think if you had pneumonia, like, I, if I had pneumonia, I wouldn't be afraid I'm going to die. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I mean, it was it was, it was, it was earlier. It was early. It was, it was like, real early. yeah, it was early in 2000, but still, though. Yeah. It was, I don't know, but I just think... I just think in the whole industry play like people talk about it way too much to there not to be nothing unless no there has to be I feel like I'm gonna be honest I, I'm I'm it that Bobby that Bobby girl that white girl yeah. industry plant yeah I I refuse to believe that she's not interest industry plant how do you have a Drake interview off and the you rip. only have like 30k followers yeah when you got people like Joe Rogan yes no Drake interview. No, I, I, not, not, I mean, jumpers, hey, if uh, he does, if jump, jump, no jumpers, no jumpers. Listen, bro, uh, um, DJ, DJ Academics, yeah. all that. I'm not saying Joe Rogan wanted a Drake interview. Yeah, but, I know DJ Academics. Want, DJ Academics is a real Drake fan. Yeah, yeah, he would have want. He yeah. would want an interview. Yep. yep. Who is this girl? Uh, randomly, uh, randomly. I'm not trying to knock her. Yeah, no. But listen, bro. How do you get a Drake interview off the rip? Off the rip, nigga. That's like us with thirty k right there. With thirty k, Drake sitting right there. Imagine with thirty k followers. Exactly. We have thirty. We have. We almost have thirty k followers on, on, on Instagram. Instagram, nigga. We got almost half a mil. We where never are you get Drake. at, Drake? <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere. You would never. Hey, Drake, if you watch this, nah. Uh, sh- yeah, come on. But come but, but, but like, that's come what I'm on. Saying. There are real industry plants out there, and. And I think it's it's because they they have connections to pri- to people that you know so that we don't. Have. What do you? What is the point of an industry plant though? Like, what do you think a point of it is? Because I be looking up the definition all the time, but I always forget and I always like never understand. Like, what is the point of this? Let me look up. Let me look listen. Up. I don't know. Let me just, because is it like because because like if. An industry, like, I don't know what the point of an industry plan is. Because if it was, like, somebody that was, let's say, like, out of the regular. Yeah. Like, who, who, who I guess, looks different than us or who acts different than or or whatever. It was, maybe they have different views. But Bobby is, she's no different than any white girl that I've ever seen in my life. I know. I'm be honest with yeah. you. Yeah. She yeah. doesn't, she's not, not trying to, like I said, I'm not trying to knock her, but she's, she's like not, she's person. not like compelling. She's not like interesting. Like she, her interviews are, are not interesting. Yeah. Just, or uh, like, I'm not saying, yeah, they're not really that interesting. They're like, I'm going to be honest with you. Like she doesn't give any real like feedback, like, or f- any real value when it, when it comes to having her interview. her interviews or her podcast like as you can see joe rogan joe rogan mm-hmm. does some shit like bobby's podcast i'm gonna be honest with you is like so um uh what do you think about that yeah and then is that it so so they they say something and then oh okay so uh, that's her podcast yeah literally. It, it, like what is like and she always is, goes viral and she always goes viral it's the people that you know. Yeah. It's your connections. It's 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 why can't we be industry your network? plants? Yeah, bring it. I'll be an industry plant. Just Fuck don't it. make me do no bullshit. I'll say it. Bobby it ain't do no bullshit to get that Drake interview. Yeah, I know. If unless I to, unless I don't know. If I had to, back, I ain't sucking dick to 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 get bro, to be an industry plant. You you, ain't. you fucking I'm slapping you, bro. Who <laughs> anybody you says oh. you gotta suck my dick first. <laughs> nigga, if you don't, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what? <laughs> what? Crazy words. Anyways, bro. But you had like people like what was that? What was that guy? Um, fun. Uh, the guy uh that did that type of interview. Those little awkward interviews before. Oh, uh, Bobby. Uh, 
The the black guy? Yeah, the black guy. Not funny, Mike. No, it's not. No, his so he has is, a, he has the hair. Yeah, he has a. Forgot hair. what his name is. He but. has a hair and he has like a uh, little like like acne. acne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking yeah, about. I forgot yeah. what his name was. Um, he did that those awkward <laughs> podcasts, you know. Uh, before her, why isn't he? Why didn't he get a Drake interview? Something. Why didn't he get all those? It just it just didn't seem genuine. I think that's the biggest. She did not one. have a come up like how he did. She did not have a come up. She didn't up grind like, for that, bro. She didn't grind, bro. I'm gonna be honest with she you. She didn't grind like, for that. Like she didn't grind for it. But hey, industry plants. Like I feel like if like industry plants are becoming common, more common, more more visible. Like you could definitely tell, tell. this person is like. It, this person's an industry plan, bro. Yeah, so I don't know what y'all did to get there? But yeah, I ain't but doing if, that shit. if but in my eyes, like if it, if you wanted to make an industry plan, like if you want a person to be an industry plan, like mm-hmm. at least make him like different, yeah, or make her him or her different than uh, than people. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. different than what you typically see in a podcast or typically see in a. Don't make it noticeable. You know, don't make it noticeable. You know bro. what I'm saying? It's getting worse. Yeah, it's, it's it's bad. But I don't know, bro. You got anything you want to talk about? Uh, you got anything? Cause I got a, I got another question to ask you. Oh I no, know. but I do want to do the the. Oh yeah, first got a game for us ranking. people. Yeah, I got I got a little game that you know, you feel me? Yeah. But yeah, but what, what you got to talk about? Oh, no, you can play. Uh, you want or you want to play the game at the end? I'll, I'll do it after you. Uh, All right. Oh, actually, no. Actually, we could just go with your the game right now. Okay, so I got a little game for Darius. Yes. Well, it's it's not. I mean, you guys might have seen it on TikTok or whatever, whatever platform, Instagram. Uh, it's blind rankings. Yep. And I want to do the blind rankings, the category. Uh, we're doing two rankings. Yeah. Nick shows. Yep. And Cartoon Network shows. So I've been pretty mid at the blind rankings. I ain't gonna lie. So let me know if you like do, my rankings though. So are comments. we doing top five, top ten? Do top five. Top five. Do top five. So I don't go too crazy. I, so I don't forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So top five That'd be blind hard. rankings. Nickelodeon We're start shows? With Nickelodeon shows All right. first. All right. So we could do Let's see. I love Cat Dog. Cat Dog. Oh, I loved Cat Dog. I ain't gonna lie, that was my shit when I was a kid. Dang, that's a hard one. <laughs> that was my shit when I was a kid, bro. That little nigga and the that was a weird show. It was a weird show, but that, that shit was, was so good. It was a. It, <sighs> it, it's typically like all the all the old shit. Like there were weird shows. They were weird they, as fuck. It just brings the nostalgia. And yeah, like, it's just like I'm those, a, those were a good show. I'm gonna give that a four though. A four? Just because I'm thinking everything else above it is pretty decent, so I'm gonna give that a safety. Really? Yeah, I give that a four. Okay. That might have, that might have backfired on me. I, let's see, let's see. Danny Phantom. Ooh, see now we're cooking still. Danny Phantom was one of the best shows, and that whole shit, bro. Top, I say top five shows. I put Danny Phantom at. I'm trying to think based on you and this list. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm put Danny Phantom at number two. I'm put that number two. I'm put that number two. Put that at number two. Because I think there's a big one. Go ahead. <clears throat> Let's see. I think there's one that he's going to say that I know will be number one. There's a couple I have in my mind. Let's see. Let's see what he's going to say. Rocket Power. Rocket Power. Okay. Now, now, Rocket Power was a good show, but I really, I just, I watched it because it was on. I didn't watch it because yeah, I decided. So, I put Rocket Power at five. Five. So, we're cooking. So, I, so far, one... So I got two Danny Phantom, four Cat Dog, five Rocket Power. All right, we're going good. We're going good. SpongeBob. SpongeBob is number one. See, this is where you got. This is where you have to strategize. I knew not to put Danny Phantom at number one. SpongeBob is the best Nickelodeon show. Maybe one of the best cartoons ever. Just be. Don't. I don't want to hear y'all niggas say, "Oh, it's weird. He's mid." No, that if you watch SpongeBob now, I promise you, you will laugh, bro. Of course, yeah, I watch it every will. night before I go yeah, to sleep. You will. You you will watch it. You will watch. Yo, you will laugh. I, mean, I promise you. Will you. Laugh, you will laugh. Uh, I promise you. you last will laugh. one is Rugrats. Now, 
<laughs> that hurt. <laughs> that hurt. Because I would have put Rugrats at two. Because Rugrats was my show. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, that's why that's why I put it because that nigga yo, this nigga loves Rugrats. I love bro. Rugrats. <laughs> when I tell you I lived off of Rugrats, I had the orange y'all kids, y'all people watch this now, y'all didn't have VHS tapes. I'm old enough now. Where I had, yeah, we had the, the, the yeah, old VHS yeah, tapes, yeah, yeah. where it had colors. Yeah, I had a green orange, orange one. one yeah. Bro, you put that shit in the TV. That shit might be a little staggy at first. You blow it into it. Now you cool, bro. Your, your little sister used to fuck it up. Now you want to cry and shit, bro. Oh my god, niggas, bro. Rugrats Yo. is a one of the best shows ever. Yeah, bro. I had I have to put it at three. That shit hurts. <laughs> said, I got like you said, you see, that hurt, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Y'all don't know yeah. the the symbolism and the cinematic universe of Rugrats. Yeah. This nigga, this nigga Tommy was about to feed Dill to the monkeys. <laughs> That's because he was crying. You know what I mean, Tommy? Bro, we have little siblings. There was times, if I was in that situation, I would have poured the pudding. <laughs> banana pudding. He was about to put banana pudding on his face and feed him to monkeys. Yeah. That went over most of y'all head. I knew it. Bro, I cried. I cry. I t- I tell you every time when Chucky was crying by his mom in the plane, I cried. Yeah, bro. That shit hurt, bro. That shit hurt, bro. I still remember the oh, that shit hurt, you can bro. See, yo, that nigga love. Damn, Rugrats, that shit bro. sucks, bro. <laughs> that shit really sucks. Yeah, I knew. I knew I had to put Rugrats on the list. I promise you, my, if I had a little brother, I was, his name was would have been Tommy, bro. Yeah, bro shit. I, it would have been either Tommy or Sheen. Damn. That's why, yo, for, for, from Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron? Yes. Where you that at? Bro, my sister's name is Isabel. I call her Libby. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even realize yes. that. There's no <laughs> correlation. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yes. That's her name? Her name is Isabel. I've always knew her by Libby because, I, yes. you know, I thought, you know. Well, as soon as she was born, Libby from Jimmy Neutron. That is because, crazy. Yes. <laughs> you know, my sister was named because of uh, Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what's her? Wait, what's her? Wait. Wait, what's her real name? No, Amy. Her oh. name is Amy, but she was named after the Amy. Sonic. From a Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, bro. Hey, bro. That's crazy. That's how much influence cartoons had on me when I was a kid, bro. Shit was crazy work. That is crazy. All yeah. right, so I can't pull cartoons. That was a good list, though. I give that, that like an 80%. 80%? I almost that, that had was, it. That was a pretty good. You had um, SpongeBob. I would have just flipped Danny, Danny Phantom, Phantom and, and, and Rugrats. Rugrats. That was it. Yeah. I would just flipped that. That That's pretty good. Now, let's go to Cartoon Network. Yeah, let me hear Cartoon Network. Okay. Ben 10. Damn. Now, this is where it gets choppy. Cause yeah, bro. Cartoon ben Ten, Network has some shit. Cartoon Network has a lot of really good shows. So, I think... I'm going to put Ben 10 at number... I'm going to put Ben 10 at number two. Number two? Ben 10 already? Yeah, I'll put it at two. I don't like how you're saying this. I'm, nah, <laughs> you I'm scared just, me. I'm just, I'm just saying that. I'm putting it at two. I'm Teen putting, Titans. Fuck. <sighs> Teen Titans. God damn. I folded already because yeah. Teen Titans got to be one. Teen Titans got to be one. It got to be one now because Ben 10 is not banned in Teen Titans. I don't care what y'all say. When Tara died, that hurt me. Oh. Nigga, Tara, I want, bro. bro that, I wanted Beast Boy to find love. I still, I still hate that last episode. I hate it. Oh, hate of uh, Teen Titans when, yeah. with the, the Doom Patrol? What was that? Was that the last yeah, episode? Yeah. I they, thought the last episode was when um, uh, t- um, uh, Beast Boy ran into the, the ran into the light, I guess, after Terra forgot her. No, no. That was the last episode of that season. Oh, really? The last episode is when uh, Beast Boy teams up with like his old like uh team, like the Doom Patrol. Oh, for real? Like the people that wore that purple and shit. Yeah. It was like a metal man. Oh, for and they fought like the, Nick, the brain, whatever. Oh, shit. I, bro. Teen Titans, that is a great show. That movie scared the fuck out of me. Oh, the the Japan. Yeah, when the nigga was had the ink, but Definitely. I have to put out one, bro. Bro, one, I was two, so sad. I was so hyped. This nigga Beast Boy was about to get a girl, bro. Yeah, me too. Nigga, that was me our too. reality TV show, and she yeah. died because yeah. she was manipulated by a slip. Damn, bro, y'all, know, y'all don't really, y'all don't really be paying attention for real, bro. Terror, terror. That was good. I uh, put one. I put that one. I gotta put that one. The Grim Adventures of Bailey Man. Now this is where it hurts even more. <laughs> now I'm really sad. This gets even worse. Okay, now. Yep. It got to fuck. All right. <laughs> now, that goes at three, bro. That has, Damn. That has to be one of the funniest shows of all time. I'm not oh, gonna lie. one of it. This has nigga to be. Billy was an idiot. Yeah. This nigga wished for himself to be super <laughs> strong and have yogurt f- squeeze out of his armpits. And every time he walks, he squeaks. Nigga was squeaking on the moon. 
That nigga had a pet nigga fathered a freaking spider by accident. Because he broke the shell and the spider thought that he was his dad. Yeah, bro, that I hated that spider spider episode because I, I I'm I'm I hate spiders. <laughs> so just looking at that shit was just scary as fuck. Yes. but I, it was it was hilarious, bro. Them hilarious. Niggas, them niggas beat the the Grim Reaper at a limbo contest. Yeah, that shit's hilarious, come on, bro. bro. Hilarious. Fucking what's that white guy name? The little white kid name? What's his name? Nah, I got I got find pudding. Pudding? The nigga name was Pudding, bro. Pudding. <laughs> Come on, remember, bro. Uh, Irwin. Remember uh, the nigga with the, the the elephant, the little elephant. Oh, Fred Fred Burger. <laughs> Fred Fred Burger. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was in the courtroom shitting up a storm, bro. That nigga, yo, that whole episode... Where it was in the courtroom yeah. because this nigga Billy was about to go to prison. Yeah. This nigga Fred was just like, the thing is like, I'm Fred Fred Yo. Burger. <laughs> and he spelled his name for three hours. That shit. Oh, I got to rewatch that Fred, now. Yo, I'm, I'm rewatching it. Oh, Yo, my Fred God. Fred Burger was hilarious. Top bro. five characters of all time, bro. I'm Fred Fred Burger was hilarious. Um, Damn, this is a bad one. Um, Curse the Cowardly Dog. Okay. Now. I'm, I'm, you, you can put it at four. I put that at four. I was going to put it at five just in case something comes up. I'll oh, put it at five, though. I'll put it at five. I like Courage, though, but Courage was a little too scary for me when I was a kid. That shit it to, was It was scary. I don't know. It wasn't really bro, that the, scary. Not the scariest one I remember it was when Courage went to, I think they went to the hospital because one of them was sick, and the doctor walked in, and he just had like that oh, little creepy smile. Yeah, he, was yeah, the the he, was yeah, in, yeah. he was in the bathroom. Yeah. That shit scared the fuck out yeah, of me. Yeah, I was, no, no, no. Yeah, I remember. I know. Nah, I know. There was too many scary people yeah, in that show. That was scary. And the last one, Samurai Jack. See, I should have put... Cause I didn't really watch Samurai Jack that much. But he was cool as fuck. He was cool as fuck. I'll put him at four. I'll put him at four. That's not bad. If I would do this list over again, it would definitely be Grim, Adventures of Billy and Mandy, Teen Titans, Ben 10, Courage, then Samurai Jack. Dang, yeah. that sucks, bro. Bro, I, I told you, that's why I'm like, that Ben sucks. 10, 2 already? Bro, that shit yeah. sucks. I, I, mean, thought, I, thought, I thought he was going to give me like Flapjack. Nah, bro, I knew I knew, I, I, I knew I had to put Grim Adventures, Billy and Mandy for it. I, mean, I, I knew I had to put the Billy, Billy and Mandy, and I knew I had to put Teen Titans because mm, I know that's your favorite. Dang, that shit sucks. Bro. I knew you was going to put either Teen Titans or Grim Adventure or Billy and Mandy yeah, first. Bro, bro I, love, I love Chowder too. Chowder's my shit. Chowder is Chowder's a good show. Chowder's but great. Oh, I'm glad you was talking about cartoons. I, I, gotta, I, I didn't put a question on here, but I have a question for you. I didn't know if I was going to bring up. If there was... <clears throat> give me the cartoon characters that you will beat the fuck out of. Like, what are the characters that you hated so much that like, you just wanted to beat them beat them up for real? What characters would those be? I have a list. <laughs> Damn, a list? That's crazy. Um, can, can I tell you my first one? Yeah. You remember You remember Lazy Town? Yeah. Know that, you know that one rich kid? That little snobby oh, muck? I, hate, I, Ooh, I would have beat yeah, his ass, him. bro. I hated him. I hated him. I'm beating his yeah, ass. I'm beating a... Sadness ass from Inside Out. Oh, yeah, because... Oh, my did. God. Yo, she was just... I wanted to really... She was the reason Bing Bong died, bro. Yeah, bro, you know who the fuck I hated for real? Who? I don't know if you remember watching. Uh, I was so young. I hated this bitch, though. <laughs> uh, it's a girl. Um, <laughs> you did you watch Foster at Home? Uh, yes. Your friends, remember that? Yes. Do you the remember? black girl? Yes. Yes. Ooh. Oh my god. She I wanted, she ruined everything. Yo, I, I think she to, touched. I wanted to beat her ass, bro. Bro, oh everything god. she touched. Destroyed everything. I hated her. She literally created a whole universe. Yeah. Of shit because she couldn't help it. I hated her. I would have really whooped her ass. I ain't gonna lie. I hated her. That would. Oh my god. This is. I would have her. Um. There's bling a- bling boy is done up. I'm beating the fuck out of bling bling, bling boy. boy. Was he was a little. He was. He was a, yeah, I didn't hate him too I, much. I'm beating up Scrappy Doo, bro. Why from Scooby Doo, bro. Scrappy used to be annoying as hell. For real to you, bro. He used to be doing the dumbest shit, bro. Hey, no, I, I didn't really watch Scooby Doo like that. Um, bro. who else? I had another person on my list. I hated Squidward. Squidward. Oh, you hated Squidward? Squidward used to annoy me sometimes, but when I was a kid back then, I used to want to beat. I would beat up Squidward, but like now, now I'm starting to un- real. I'm starting to relate to Squidward yeah, because these motherfuckers is annoying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I understand now. But Squidward, ooh. Ooh, uh, the dude that used to hide the the, the pickles under his tongue. Oh, Ooh, I, I hate it. Yeah, ass. yeah, I hate it. Bubba that Bass, nigga. he's done. I'm cooking that nigga. nigga. I hate that nigga. Um, uh, uh I hated uh, 
C- Cindy from uh, Ooh, Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron, Cindy. Cindy was annoying as fuck. I hated her. Cindy was... Uh, Bobby. Nah, Bobby was Bobby was type funny. From slap, 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 clap, clap, clap. From uh, <laughs> Jimmy Neutron. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Bobby. Nah, 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 nah. Indian dude. I think was I don't he know. It was like it was something like that. I don't know what if what he was. Yeah, though. yeah, I remember. He's like slap, 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 <laughs> clap, clap, clap. Yeah, that I shit was remember. funny. I won't be him up. I love that. That's a good guy I right remember. there. He's he's in my lineup. Some funny niggas I, I would let, let live. But um, I'm trying to think of one more person. I was gonna say Flapjack, but Flapjack ain't, ain't too bad. He was kind of Flapjack funny. is not too bad. Um, I'm trying to think of shows. Uh, not nothing. Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I'm trying to think. Let me look up. Most annoying cartoon characters. Most annoying cartoon characters. They said they put Dora on here. Low key. Dora. Dora. Low oh, key. No, I don't like. I, I. I. I never really liked Dora. Talk about some. But the thing is though, like I. Never really watched that anyways neither. Uh, it, I I didn't, but I still knew about it. Yeah, no, I knew about it too. Yeah. Uh, freaking, uh, Remy Bucks a plenty, from uh, ooh, from a, uh, from uh, Fairly Odd Parents. Fairly Odd Parents. The, 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 the rich the, kid. The rich, the rich, yeah, the rich I might beat that kid. Up. I mean, I might beat up one decimal ass too, cause he's he's uh, he kept trying to take a uh, yeah, Wanda, Wanda from Cosmo. From Cosmo yeah. That was crazy yeah, working Cosmo. Like that it. shit was crazy. This nigga Wanda, yo, that's wild. That nigga Cosmo was, was, was just letting it rock. He was oblivious. Yeah, he was oblivious. That's crazy. Wanda, work. Yeah, Wanda, Wanda. Wanda th- Mm. <laughs> I don't like Wanda for that. I didn't even really peep. I didn't really. I ain't peep. No, I peeped. I peeped. You peeped? Yeah, I peeped. <laughs> she, 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 she used to. Yo, she, she was me. really just. She was. She cut. She was letting that shit mm-hmm. happen, bro. It's crazy work, bro. I didn't like that, bro. Uh, cheese? Are you gonna kill cheese? Nah, I like cheese. I like cheese. From fr- cheese. Like cheese. Yeah, yeah from fries. So bad. Yeah, I fuck with cheese. <sighs> I like cheese. Damn, they got Candace for Phineas and Ferb. I was gonna say that, but then again. Low key, I don't think I would really swipe her. <sighs> the the bitch from from Co- uh, Codename Kids Next Door, bro, Lizzie, the one that loved the uh, uh, number one. Oh, oh, Lizzie! I only, I only would, I only would beat her up just because, like, number one could do better. That yeah, was... no, yeah, number one could do way better. Yeah, I, uh, number one was yeah, he was too cool for her. Yeah, bro. he was wilding, bro. He was just like that was some crazy work right there. That's Tommy. That should be Tommy. That's literally Tommy as a girl. Yes, literally, he, literally Tommy as a girl. Oh my god, I didn't even realize it, <laughs> bro. Uh, Millhouse from The Simpsons, the little nerdy Indian kid with the glasses. Uh, nah, I don't really mind him too much. I don't really mind him too much. But all right, so so what are your top five funniest cartoon characters? We can make a list. Ooh, top five. We don't funniest have this cartoon network. Yeah, cartoon they, network. Yeah, uh, anything. Top oh. five funniest cartoon characters. It don't gotta be in order. Just gotta put them in, in five. Definitely Billy from Grim Adventure of Billy Man. Billy. Uh, Patrick. Patrick. Fred Fred Burger. Fred Fred Burger. Fred Fred Burger. Fred Fred Burger. If y'all niggas don't know Fred Fred Burger, he is hilarious. Hilarious. Like that man. And he was, wasn't even on the show like every day, every episode. No. He when was, he was on that show. When he was on that shit, that nigga used to run that shit. Like because he he's to, hilarious. Yes. <laughs> like bro. funny ass nigga. Um Was Cheese funny to you? Cheese was funny, but I ain't gonna lie, Cheese was annoying. Yeah. Now that I think about yeah. it. Yeah. Now that I think about it, because he used to I remember when he they used to they was running around trying to get him and shit like that and that nigga used to and I, didn't he used to like tweak that nigga used yes. to be like he used to have yeah, tantrums he used bro to have he's, tantrum yeah yeah I remember he was annoying but he wasn't annoying for me to beat up yeah uh, oh this is a this is a top five funniest oh oh funniest yeah, yeah but he wasn't he wasn't uh, he was he I don't think he's he's up there to make it a top five yeah top five uh ooh damn. what about Ed from Ed and Eddie Big Ed. I might put him. He might be like five because he was low key funny yeah, as hell. No, he was funny as fuck. That nigga ate a staircase. Yeah, <laughs> he was funny as fuck. But I, what would he be top five? I, I would put him top five. I put, uh, put him top five. Put him top. I'm trying to look for more people here. We already got. We're at four. We need one more person. Uh Grim was funny. Grim was hilarious. Sokka? Nah, Sokka was not nah, funny. So- Sokka was funny though. Wait, but he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't, he wasn't like these he niggas wasn't funny. Like these niggas funny. But he was funny though. Um, 
Saga, Saga actually brought the funny. He did bring the funny. You remember when he drank that uh that cactus? <laughs> yeah, he was tweaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit oh, yes Tom, okay bro. we need to pick one more though it gotta be one more it gotta be a banger though i'm trying to think i'm trying to think even disney channel disney channel really didn't have cartoons like that for real nah they had in real life shows yeah. that were great they had the best in the real life shows so i would think let me think um oh, it might have to be would like it be, would it be spongebob Nah, but nah, I don't think he was funny though. Like Patrick was doing funny yeah, shit. Yeah, Patrick was funny. May I Hilarious. take your hat, sir? <laughs> oh God, bro, nigga was a weenie, bro. Uh, I'm was... trying to think. It might have to be like. I'm trying to think of somebody that said mad jokes. Damn, Damn. bro. Who the fuck was the funny? What, what, what... Might have to put Bobby in that motherfucker, bro. You gonna put Bobby? He's crazy, bro. That slap, slap, slap. Not that shit Sheen. carry. Ooh, Sheen was funny. I might put Sheen. I Sheen, might have to put Sheen. Sheen, Sheen from from Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, Sheen though. from Jimmy Neutron. Not, Not planning Sheen. Sheen. Not planning Sheen. Yeah. Sheen. Okay. There we go. Yeah. So we're gonna do Sheen was funny. Billy, Ed, Fred Fredberger, Patrick, and Sheen. Yeah. Top five funniest char- cartoon characters ever, bro. Real shit. Oh my god, that shit is too Real funny. Shit. I ain't gonna lie. Like one of my favorite Jimmy Neutron episodes was what. One of them was when I, they had the powers. Remember when they had the powers and Jimmy was... You don't remember? Yeah, I do. They were superheroes. Be, yeah, Jimmy became like the Hulk. And yeah, like, that was... I, fu- I, 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 I love that That episode. was a great, great episode. episode. I remember, forgot about remember that. Remember the episode where Sheen learned karate and shit yes. like that? Oh, and they was... Wait, wait, were they spy? What about that? No, that was a movie. Remember that spy? Yeah, shit? the spy one was great. That shit was some heat, bro. Jimmy Neutron low-key very bro, underrated. I had... I had a crush on that girl. I ain't gonna lie. Who? Oh, the 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 girl, the spy girl, bro. Wait, hold on. I got, I got, I got a look. Baddie. Wait, <laughs> come on, bro. You gotta remember. You Wait. gotta see it. But she was bad. <laughs> I'm, I was, I was thinking about from uh, Phineas and Ferb. Nah, Doctor Drew Francis Smurf's daughter. Oh, this girl. Yeah. I, you know, I, I yeah. okay, okay. That's not that bad. <laughs> I, I see where you're coming from. Yeah, nigga. I see I'm where you're like, coming I'm from. Like, I'm like, whoop. Why am I, you know, I was a young nigga. I was. Niggas is going on in my bed. Like, nah, let me stop. <laughs> Biggest is crazy. Jimmy nah. Neutron is very slept on, bro. Very slept on. That shit was very like, slept on. It, it, like, it was really, really good, bro. Ah, oh, man. Dang. I just went down shows, memory lane. That shit was crazy work, bro. It was so good, bro. <sighs> man, they don't make them like they used to, bro. I would, I would do it. Nah, I was going to say some wild shit. I wouldn't do anything. But, like, if niggas will let, allow me to go back for, like, a week, when I was six, just to like relive all that shit again, I'd do it. No, just watching TV shows, I really would. I'd I like, it. I ain't gonna lie, like, shows great TV. I don't know if kids watch TV like how we used to, how we used to. No, nah, they definitely don't, bro. It's they watch TikTok diff- and streamers. Yeah, it's a different level of level enjoyment. of jo- enjoyment. Nigga, you used to wait, I used to wake up early Saturday. For the the lineup, like like a, like it's a UFC event, mm-hmm. nigga. They had a card nigga, <laughs> every Saturday morning, from eight a.m. to twelve, bro. Nigga, you get some cereal. You watch you some uh, Robot Boy. You watch you some uh, yeah, Robot uh, Boy. Fucking something from Disney Channel. Disney XD. I forgot. Zeke and Luther. Hella shows, Zeke bro. Zeke and Luther. Like different lineups. Like Power Rangers would come on. Like it's bro. just it's just like a different. And then and then you would you would you would be sleep and shit and you hear george lopez yes. in, the, uh, in in the morning bro you wake up when you, you when you tsunami, go to nami bro like, tsunami bro when you used to go to school wake up at we had to wake up at school school starts at like what 8 30 you have to wake up at seven nigga sweet life of zach and cody on our disney channel already oh come on bro when i tell Niggas you like tv tv i i like i don't know bro like it's just let me look up that number too it just brings talking. back a lot of memories like i understand technology is the way that it is now you know you you don't really need, need to, to watch to watch tv like it's mm-hmm. it's streaming it's all on the phone it's all on your you know it says 80 percent of kids still watch cartoons daily i don't think that's a big margin it says the shocking drops had begun quite a few years ago. Data shows that since 2014, Disney Channel has lost 88.1% Damn. 
of its total audience, and Adult Swim has dropped by 71.3%. Cartoon Ooh. Network is down by 793 and Nickelodeon is down by 745 since 2016. God damn. Damn. So niggas is really not watching TV for real. Which, Ooh. it's honestly because you got to blame Netflix. Netflix. Uh... Twitch, uh, you got TikTok. all these all these different streaming platforms, and I really bro. think like these kids are gonna start to grow up a lot faster than oh most us. definitely, nigga. Bro. We didn't grow up until we was in high school. Yeah, bro. It was until probably I would say 14, 14, 15. 15. These niggas gonna be grown at 10, 9, yeah. 9, 10, 8, 8, 9, 10, bro. It's crazy yeah, work, bro. Because I I I used to yeah TV TV was a thing that. I'm not gonna lie. Like now, I'm looking and I'm like, "Dang, bro, mm-hmm. it's gone." Like, yeah. Like, there's the enjoyment. I, it's like, not, it's I, gone. I'm glad I cherish TV when it was there because it's just it's nothing like being with you know the people that you love and shit like that. Like, like your cousins or whatever it is, like your brother, sister, whatever, and just watching a show that you both enjoy. Yeah. And a good show and just sitting there and just, you know, just watching it. You know what I'm Same, saying? Like, Saturday mornings are Now, now bro. people are just going on their phone and on their whatever electronic. I'm, I'm telling you, give it 10 years, bro. TVs are going to be gone. Cables yeah, is TV, gone, bro. Yeah, TVs going to be gone, bro. And that, that's a people. sad case. Yeah, man. But I'm, I'm glad that, I mean. Like, I can't even watch TV no more. It's bad. My attention span is fucked, bro. Me neither. I can't even watch like certain shows like I be trying to I really do me need I can't even watch a full basketball game anymore oh yeah I realized that I'm like dang this is bad yeah I'm 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 not watching it that's so bad like uh, my attention span is really bad bro like it's like after like maybe a couple minutes it's like uh I just go on my phone and then I go back to him like yeah that's not like good. isn't that crazy bro that's bad I remember like I used to watch a full basketball full game. basketball games full I can't bro. watch it no more I used to watch full football games full basketball games yo Every bro, it was bad. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. Dang, I got me depressed. Yeah. But, uh but I mean, at least like we still have those shows. Yeah. Because we could still go back and watch them. Of course. Obviously it's not mm-hmm. gonna be the same as a user, but it's cool. Hey bro, bro we, we still fight trying every day. But yeah, a- I got I got another question for you. And it can piggyback on the topic I was gonna talk about because I got I got some topics to tell you about. So in order to eliminate a crime. It must be done to you, and you have to survive it. What crime are you picking? What the fuck? I ain't gonna lie. My first, my first thing was the R word until I had to remind you myself, actually- which is wild. I was trying to do it for the fem- the the women and the the kids and stuff, but now I can't do that because now I gotta get no. But like, especially if it's like <laughs> that's crazy work, crazy work. Now. I'm thinking like, now I'm thinking. I don't want to go. Especially about if it's a dude, it's crazy. That's crazy work. That's crazy. I'm. I think I'm gonna. I'll do. I'll. I'll get traffic. I can survive that. What? Yeah. I don't know about that, buddy. What you gonna do? How home get- invasions? Come on, bro. Help the world out. That is home invasions is a it, it's a common thing, it, but you tell them, bro. I, if I if I get traffic like like niggas kidnap me and traffic me, and I just gotta survive it, and niggas, bro, all I gotta do is if they put the shit in me, I just gotta, I just gotta make sure they get that needle away from me, and piss and shit on myself. I'm gonna be the dirtiest nigga alive, bro. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Don't yeah, yeah. yeah you, you hear the you hear the plan. <laughs> I don't know if you're hearing the plan, but that's the plan. This is for a greater cause, for it. It will be gone. No more trafficking. I'll get shot. <laughs> I'm surviving that. What's up? <laughs> now murder's gone. For you, me, you could you could murder you could murder people in different ways. Oh shit! <laughs> that means somebody I has to try to come and kill way. you. <laughs> All right, then I'm getting shot. You getting shot? Now so nobody nobody could get shot. shot. Ooh. <laughs> And I'll survive it. You're not surviving that shit. Yeah, shoot me in the leg. Nigga, what? But, but what if they... That mean, no, 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 no. You got, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. You got to get shot in vital That's areas. That's attempted murder. But, okay, so attempted murder. That means somebody can still come and stab someone. Yeah, that don't got nothing to do with me. The gun <laughs> violence is the <a> problem. <laughs> Nigga said the gun violence. The gun violence is a problem, cuz. Now oh niggas gonna have to be using shanks. 
<laughs> that ain't got niggas nothing to do like, with me, bro. Like in the UK with the, the big UK. ass sword, <laughs> yeah, they go guard and shit. Niggas like that, yeah, bro. It's gonna be like the UK, nah, bro. bro. Get traffic, bro. What the fuck? I don't want to get trapped. Come on, bro. Just get, just get kidnapped real quick. I, I don't you be cool. Bro, you're wanna, saving so many I, kids' lives. Yeah, 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 but there is. All them Epstein I, kids I, will never happen again. Yeah, but there is. <laughs> them traffic. I don't know who I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> I might be going to some nigga that's like The Rock. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you might go to some scrawny ass like Jeffrey Dahmer, dude. Just beat his ass and run. Oh, man. But bro, yo, put me in the trenches. I'll do it for y'all bro, kids. If a nigga, if a nigga is traffic, if nigga picked me to get traffic, I'm grown, bro. <laughs> that means he's big as fuck. That means he could take me, bro. I don't want that. Yo, bro, I'm doing it for the kids, bro. And everybody. I mean, good for you, bro, but you're gonna be staying with that. <laughs> Get traffic and you stuck. <laughs> I would see everybody free. I'm like, dang, this shit wasn't worth it. <laughs> this shit wasn't worth it. <laughs> this is like, damn, that's actually no, that's actually that's kind bad, of wild. bro. Bro, okay. imagine the nigga pick because I feel like I think they could pick. They pick. They, they pick. picking. Damn, I'm light skinned. You got a fucking beard. <laughs> they, they, they decided to pick you. That's wild, out of crazy. Everybody. You know what's also? Could take you you know what's also crazy? Cause I watched that one movie, uh, like uh, the the Sound of Freedom about mm-hmm. the trafficking shit. Mm-hmm. Bro, that girl got trafficked to like a, a. It was like, it was like a bunch of rebels, in rebels? the in the jungle. What? Yes, she got sent to like the the jungles of like Mexico or something. Like it's they based were, on a true story. Yeah, it was a true story. Ooh. Nah. So imagine they send me to the jungles. Yeah, nah. See, you that that's the scary part about traffic. You don't yeah. know who you're going to. Bro. I know. Oh but I'm, I'm just God. hoping they give me go give me somebody in like LA type shit. Like, <laughs> this nigga hoping for the best. <laughs> like you going LA, LA. to the fucking you going to the I'm not gonna lie though. To the depths of like Guatemala or something <laughs> or like Ecuador or, or Cuba. You gone, bro. <laughs> You getting shipped, yo? Just just for a record, this is not. These aren't no, funny this matters. Is, no, this is not funny. No, <laughs> yeah. we are not joking about traffic. Like we're human just joking traffic. about the scenario yeah, that we are talking story. about, yeah. not in we, general. No, we are. I not hope those joking. kids is. Yeah, we do okay. not. Joke I hope about people saw that. But I'm saying I would sacrifice my life to stop that from happening. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Hey, he's gonna be stuck for y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna stop shooting. Gu- he's gonna stop gun, gun violence. violence. Yes, sir. I'm gonna get shot in the leg. Be ah ah, ah. <laughs> get patched up a little bit. Now I'm done. Now we good. Bro. You know, maybe maybe I can survive. Ooh, maybe I can try to survive a serial killer. No, wait, but then it's, no more. Then you're just stopping serial killing. Yeah, no more, no more uh, mass killings. Ooh, what if I stop like a like a like a mass shooting? Like I survived that. That's oh wild. yeah, that'd be that'd be that'd be decent. That'd be wild. Like he's but what if he's looking for me. Huh? He's like, like I'm at Rutgers. He's like, Darius, where are you? Damn, da, da, da. Just you. What happened? Oh, it turned off. Uh, oh wait, you think you can? It's like gray. Oh shit, we might have to. Dang. Uh, you think you can? Is it like? Is it on the camera? No, it's gray. Oh shit! All right, let me let me fix that real quick. Oh, technical difficulties. Technical difficulties, people. We'll be right back shortly. All right. Um, sorry, people. We're back. There was technical difficulties. You know, that's why you guys should like and subscribe to the video. Maybe we get some more money in here. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, we're gonna get some new cameras. Yeah. I don't you know? Well, uh, we'll see. You know, but <coughs> like, I, oh, what were we talking about? Oh shit! Excuse me. We were talking about uh crime. So now. I'll, I'll ask you about that crime shit because I actually have a new subject and topic we can talk about. Okay. Cause I know I never really talk about this on the podcast. I usually talk about, you know, conspiracies, all that shit. Now I got some true crime stories for you, bro. Ooh. Wee. I think you'll like this one. I like true crime stories. So I have two really stories, bad. two crazy stories that I've heard about that are one of the craziest, like, either murder mysteries or just um, cases in general where there, it's, like, unsolved and shit. So the first one I want to talk to you about is: Have you ever heard heard of Mister Cruel? Mister Cruel, no. So Mister Cruel is probably one of the worst and craziest serial killers and serial killer stories in like the history of like the world, bro. 
because so let me explain to you right so basically mr cool is the zodiac killer of australia basically okay so in the early 80s this guy was supposedly one of the like even the australian police classify him as like very intelligent one of the smartest people they ever like had to deal with but like they don't know who he who he is like they don't know the identity of the man because he always like did the things with like an all black suit on and a black mask and he always like cleaned out his evidence like he was always like thorough with everything he Mm -hmm. did so what he did was he would he i think he raided and kidnapped three girls three girls three separate times though so what he would do is he would like actually do his research so he would like surveillance the house. He would know all the information about the family, the kids. Like he actually walked into one person's house. Like he broke into somebody's house and said the little girl's name. Like he was studying her. What? But like he knew. And like before he walks in, he cuts out all the phone lines. So whenever he leaves, like say he leaves with the kid, he like the par- the people can't call nobody because the phones is there. So they have to go somewhere else. And by that time, he's already gone. So he cuts the phone lines. He has surveillance on them all the time. And he always walks in with that same, cre- there's a creepy ass mask and it's like, he comes in with a knife and a gun and he always keeps it, he keeps the parents hostage and like all the siblings and then he'll take, I think he took the girl, but it's crazy, right? Because he took the girl and the girl said like he was one of them, he was really nice. He cleaned her up, all that stuff, cut her nails, but then like a couple days later, like I guess he dropped off in a random location and her parents found them. Like, I don't think he killed anybody, but he, he would just kidnap him, him. Really? And just do, like, you know, what niggas, like, crazy shit, like, you know, touching yeah. girls and shit. Yeah. But it's like, he was very, it's like, it's like some super villain type shit, bro. Like, think of, like, um, the Riddler. He acted just like that. He said he was soft spoken. The, they said a family claimed that he came into their house and had him at gunpoint while he was eating food on the table. What? Yes, like he was literally robbing them and about to kidnap their kid, and he was eating food at the table. And to this day, they don't know who he is. Personally, me, I'm not gonna lie. I would never. No, first of all, nobody's ever will ever take my kids. I don't give a fuck. I'll die about that. You are not gonna eat at my crib and act like shit is okay. Are you fucking crazy? Are you really serious? You go sit at my dinner table and eat my snacks and that then take crazy. my kid. That is. Crazy. What? Where is the parenting at? Yeah. Where are the super super moms and dads that we thought y'all were bro, when we was kids? Bro, dad, gunpoint, bro. Bro, find a way, bro. Survive. Yeah. Fight or flight. I'm fighting, bro. No word too. I respect I'm, that. But yo, I, it's. Just, and the I got. Let me show you a picture of this nigga. And now bro. you dead, and, it, and then he takes your kid. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, like, what is, what's going on here? Hey, bro, I gotta figure it out. Like, Yo, can I use the bathroom? This is this is the mask he used. Oh, like a regular, like it was like a what's that shit? A baklava, but oh, it looked, okay. but it was like a custom made one. And it's it's zip. It's zipped up. It looks like a. It's like it has a zipper on his mouth. Mm-hmm. And like he always. That's what like the girls like. He made sure. That none of his DNA was on anything. So, like... So, he wore gloves and stuff. He wore gloves. He made sure, like, the girls... Like, they was always clean and shit. Like, he was... It was some sick shit, bro. What? Yeah, it was some real sick shit, bro. So, he never killed anybody. I don't think he... Nah, he never killed nobody. It just kidnapped. He might have kid. He might have killed me one person. Mm-hmm. But everybody else was just kidnappings and he just let him go. It's crazy work, bro. Imagine, like... That's what you do in your spare time. Exactly. Imagine, like, remember the story you was just talking about? Niggas living two different lives and yeah. shit. Imagine niggas that we know living double life, bro. There's probably a bunch of people that you know. Nah, there's, there's because you work at you the job you work. You work with a lot of people, so yeah. there might be somebody that you know that is living like some double life yeah, or some yeah, shit, some bro. Other shit. Yeah, that's a fact. So that's, that's wild. Fact. You never know. You never you know. Never know a person. What exactly? And the next story I got for you is actually crazy. One of the craziest shits I heard of, like, serial killers, bro. So, have you ever heard of the, the um, what's it called? The Smiley Face Killers. Nah. So, recently, not recently. So, since, for the last 20, 20, 25 years, since the early 90s, there have been, like, killings of college kids. And they, like, people have found their bodies in, like, bodies of water. Like, either rivers, lakes. And it's always college kids. Like they have the same like they're they're always, they have like the same characteristics. Like they're always really smart, mm-hmm. or they're like the most popular people. Mm-hmm. And they always get them after like they come out of like like a bar or a party, a party. and shit. Yeah. So it started like it's all started in the '90s, and I think it was like it may be a coincidence, but it just kept happening. Like niggas would just be found in like water, and it was like 
It wasn't like they killed them on the spot and threw them in the water. It was like they kidnapped them and like they tortured them and mm-hmm. then they threw them in the water. Mm-hmm. So it was mad weird. I remember there was like a case in like 2017 where it was like a, a college student from like Pittsburgh or whatever was leaving and niggas, he went missing. He was leaving the bar. He went missing and they found him a couple of days in like the river down the street. And then the next year, two years prior, same thing. A college a college kid left the the same bar and was found went missing and was found in that same river. What? Same river. And it, the reason why it's called the Smiley Face Killers is cuz every time like they find the killing that's like similar to that, you there's always see. like a smiley face like graffiti art somewhere. Of course, bro. And and like there was two detectives in NYPD, they think that there's like a like a they they made like a theory that says like there's like a secret like organization of like killers that's either like out there kidnapping these niggas and torturing them. And doing all these killings. Like, that's what they think. And they think it's, like, some secret organization of just serial killers. I feel like, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like there's a lot of them, a lot of those, like, cult-like killers, like, that, because there's a lot of, like, serial killings or whatever that not one person could just do, bro. Yeah. Like, it it takes, like, a lot of people. Like a planned event, bro. yeah, Yeah, exactly. A lot of people to, like you know do i think of it as like i I think of it two ways or one way the one thing i think it's like hitmen because because one the one thing that got me i think it's because they said they're they're but they're popular people so like imagine like a jock a jock in college like he might be a little asshole Mm -hmm. oh look at this little like he always picking on niggas Mm -hmm. somebody could you can you can hire a hitman for like 10k so I feel like it might be like that's like a there's like a secret organization of hitmen that like you just call niggas up like it's like like it's like a Uber, not like Uber it's like a like a company yeah, yeah. you just call if you want a nigga gone you call them up they'll send niggas out there mm-hmm. and then just leave that trace like a little like a little marking just to fuck with the government that's some sick shit though so none of those people have been found like none of them no they don't know who they don't know what happened to the. They don't know who killed them. Yo, they don't I'm know. Tired who. of these niggas not finding these niggas. I, just, bro. I think they know, bro. I think they, you think they know. If anything, it might be like rich niggas, bro. Like it might be like, some rich high people. Key, but like, bro, you know that. Um, have you ever seen that like thing about that house in Westfield? Yeah. Oh yeah, that that the um the Westfield Watcher. Yes. That shit was crazy, bro. They still ain't finding. They nigga. still didn't find him, bro. I'm a little nervous. I'm bro. That shit's down the street. Mm. Like, bro, I I need to watch. Like, bro, but I watched that like probably twice, bro. And bro. I was like, and I was like, what? Like, imagine being in the comfort of your own home. Yeah, that you just bought, mm-hmm. just moved in. And somebody's just watching, and you. somebody just watching you knows about your kids, knows about your family, family, everything. And it's like, and I I think I talked about it before they made a show about that. Oh, you did? Yeah, I remember. I mean, I talked about it on the podcast because it was like an urban legend, or whatever, of New Jersey. It was like the whole Westfield Watcher thing. But it's like the way the show pertains it. They said it was a cult. Like what they said, Westfield is the cult, bro. Bro, the, yeah, like like uh, everybody was a part of it. Yes. Yeah, everybody. And like, they they don't know who was who, the thing. exactly. And it's cra- It's it's more funnier and realistic to us because we know. Mm-hmm. Where Westfield Yo, is, Westfield. what type of people they are. Yeah. West, if y'all don't know Westfield, New Jersey, it's well, very white. Yeah, white people. Yeah. Very white. Like it's yeah. very white. Like, and it's like we like we live in. I'm not gonna say where we live, yeah. but it's like we're rivals to Westfield. Yeah. Where it comes to basketball, football, they we don't like each other. And we, I kind of like. So when they was talking about how the whole town was in on it, it kind of made sense, and mm-hmm. it was kind of funny. Like, nah, these niggas might be. Mm-hmm. A cult, bro. Mm-hmm. That's some scary shit. Like you seen this shit, bro, I want to go to the crib, that crib, low key. I wonder. If yeah, it's a lot of people. I feel like I think a lot of people pass by and they just take pictures of mm-hmm. the crib. I want to see it one day. That shit was scary. That shit was wild, bro. I'm like, like, ima- like a, imagine, bro. You living in your crib, somebody constantly just like sending you mail, of, like either pictures of you yeah. in your crib, like you taking, like you were taking a shit, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Just like I'm like, how the fuck did he get this? Yeah. Bro, and you just hear shit. You see shit on the side in the corner of your eye. That shit's wild, bro. Crazy, bro. I watched it <sighs> twice, and I'm like, yo, there's no way that no one has caught that. Exactly. So that's why I'm like, niggas, I'm like, is the police in on it? Like, it has to be. I like, you know, what with the with the technology we have, every that we have, bro, you could find anybody. anybody that's what you I'm literally saying. can find anybody. 
C- T- CTTV, whatever, whatever it's called. CCTV, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Um, you got cameras damn near everywhere, bro. bro. You, you can literally, bro. You, I forgot. Somebody said something. It was, um, somebody was on a podcast and he was like, he was talking about aliens or whatever, but he said like, no conversation is private. Private, yeah. Everything is tapped. Like everything, wired, everything, yeah. everybody can hear everything you're talking everything. about. Everything. So everything is like recorded, like everything. Bro. So I don't believe like when they say, "Oh, we can't find this murder. We can't find this person who did this." I feel like you can, but y'all trying to, you are saving that nigga because either that's why. Look, I, another thing, I feel like a lot of these serial killers that was in the days, back in the days, like Zodiac killers, niggas that we can't find were cops. Mm. On the lowest of keys, bro. That went that went rogue, bro. Mm. Think about it, cause a lot of these niggas, they are ve- they they have to know about the police system to in order to, to be, stay to, hidden, to maneuver the to way maneuver the way they do, yeah. to be able to cover up shit. Mm-hmm. Because even though you put gloves on, there's still things that they could find. Yeah, yeah. They will find everything, bro. Everything, you yeah. tell me it took these niggas years. There's no way. They, like like niggas like DB Cooper. Niggas like um like Z- Zodiac Killer, niggas that we never found, those niggas had to be either cops or military personnel that know something about mm-hmm. it, and that just went rogue and got like either CTE or fucking like some mental disorder. Yeah, they just, just out here killing that, niggas, yeah. bro. Like schizophrenia and shit. There's no way somebody covered that. They probably know who the, the Zodiac Killer was. They just covering that shit up, bro. Yeah, bro. Because it's gonna it's gonna make the police department look bad. Mm-hmm. Same, bro. Damn. Serial killers is cops, bro. That's wild shit. Ah, oh, bro. They just trying. They just killing the black folk, bro. Jeffrey Dahmer used to be was in the police academy. Fuck niggas. He was. Was he really? I was kidding. Oh, uh, he wasn't. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> was he? <laughs> I was just agreeing. Wait, was <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer? Did he want to be police? Police academy. I don't think so. Did you watch that show? I did. I didn't really watch. I didn't really. I watched a couple episodes. He was my nigga. He was in the army. Oh yeah, he was in the army. Army. Yeah, he was in the army. Yep. He Same, was in the army. bro. And then he got he got um what's that thing called? He got dismissed or whatever yeah. for for some What did he do? I think he was just I think he was just like tweaking out. I something. seen I seen the I seen the fucking I seen the movie. The, or show, I, or yeah. the show. Uh I think he got dismissed for some bullshit. For 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 some weird shit. Obviously. Yeah. He, he's he's Jeffrey Dahmer. He's, he's on some weird shit. Weird. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, bro. I mean, I wouldn't put it past them. Like, uh, when it comes to bro, cops or their own, bro, the niggas try to protect them. Uh, Ted Bundy, what? Bro, Ted Bundy. During this period, Bundy was working in Olympia as the assistant director of the Seattle Crime Prevention Advisory Commission. Yeah, them niggas, yeah. Bro, I am on to, I am cooking up right now. Ted yeah. Bundy was, I'm he worked you cook, for huh? Defend, Department of Emergency Services. I'm telling you, these serial killers were co- either either cops or worked for some form of law enforcement. Yeah, anything or, that had to do with the government, bro. Because there's no bro. way. They be, they be. be Honestly, what if they just killing niggas because they know like the inside and outs of shit and they just like crashing out? Mm. That's what I feel like it is. I, I feel like I'm it's... Like, come on. Like, Ted Bundy, bro? Like now, Ted Bundy was a horny, crazy nigga. Yo, like... Mm-mm. And they all... And, Hey, come on, them police over there, bro, really looked past Ted Bundy. That nigga all the time just because of the way that he looked. Even he the looked women, like, they was like, there's no way he's too handsome. No, he's like, fuck what? Out like, uh, Michael B. Handsome. Jordan wanted to be a killer. He could be a killer. All he he could be, uh, anybody could be a fucking killer, bro. Same, bro. Like, what? Same, bro. These killers yeah, are these that cops. Was, yeah, that shit was crazy. I didn't even realize. Yo, I didn't know that, bro. I didn't know Jeffrey Dahmer was in the freaking army. Yeah, he nigga. was in the army. That's wild, bro. It makes sense, bro. If niggas wanna, if niggas wanna find DB Cooper, nigga was in the army, bro. If niggas bro, wanna find the Zodiac. They do got something. They know. They know bro, who the fuck he is. Who was, they know who the fuck he is. They just covering up. They try. They just trying. Not, not only that, like they probably just testing. Not shit. only that, like it's such a, it's such a, uh, mystery for so long. They probably like un. Like they probably solved it and shit, or yeah. like they are, they already know what's going on. They're not gonna be like, oh yeah, uh, the Zodiac killer was it? The nigga's probably dead for for like so. It oh yeah, he's definitely fuck, dead. Yeah, so it won't fucking matter anyway. Mm-hmm. So it's like, At this what, point, what's the point? Like whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's crazy. that's crazy though. It's crazy work, bro. But yo, it's crazy because even uh the Jack the Ripper. Yeah. One of Jack the Ripper. Uh, one of the um people 
Like uh, suspects? Yeah, one of the suspects or like one of the just uh people like, they think who yeah, did it. Yeah, people think who did it was like the cop that that was there mm. that um uh I think somebody somebody um the, the just the first cop to to like see uh, you know when he him. went yeah to witness like the oh, and he was like, just who making kid, it up. Yeah, who just no, nah, like the first cop yeah, basically make not like, making it up he's but like telling it in a, in third person. Yeah, basically, like the first the first cop to like witness, like to see the body that yeah, the yeah. first time he killed. It was or whatever. him. Yeah, and it was the f- first cop that 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 seen like you know, witnessed whatever. the first murder. Yeah, witnessed the or first murder. That, that was there. The that was there on the crime scene. Yeah, yeah, that, oh. that was there. Yeah, it makes sense though. Yeah, because imagine yo, th- I'm saying, bro, niggas, the tracks, niggas, they, there's tracks. They just cover them shits up, bro, every yeah, day. Bro. But all right, I got another question, bro. Um, what should what should I ask you, bro? All right, rate these apocalypses based on how much you can survive. Apocalypses? Yeah, based just you based on how you can survive. Uh, from a one to ten, so ten being yeah, I could survive it being like one. I'm dying off the first week. Okay. All right, global anarchy, which means that there's no government, no government at all. Everybody's all for one, one for all. Everybody, every man for themselves. <laughs> I think I laughed. Is it just me? I mean, it's like your life right now. So it's okay, like so I have a group. You have your family and stuff. You have like your girl and shit. You got the guys, but like, are you gonna are you gonna survive? Like, what is your rating of how much you think you can survive? Okay, see, like me, I need to find a gun store, like automatically. <laughs> Bro, it could be peaceful. <laughs> like, nah, it won't be peaceful. You know damn well that shit won't be peaceful, bro. We got okay. we got Irvington right there, bro. <laughs> that niggas go start tweaking, bro. Yo. We got Newark and shit. Nah, <laughs> the niggas gonna start tweaking. Yeah, nah. they, are. they will crash out immediately. They will crash out. So, um, it will never be peaceful. Um, mm-hmm. I think I might give it like a Five to six. Five to six? Yeah, like a six. That's a good one. I'll, I'll give it a five, too. I was thinking five. Because them, if I don't have the facility, the the, the resources Sources. right now, bro. Yeah. I need it now. Yeah. Them so, niggas got it right now. Exactly. And it, it, the government is, is here. There is no government. There these is, niggas, these niggas that, got no rules. These niggas got no rules. So, like, they got it before I do, oh, bro. Yeah, niggas, niggas it's case for me. Yeah. I give I give myself a five. That's a, five is a good one. Five yeah, is a good five one. is a good one. I'm gonna start. All right. How about World War Three? So say World War Three was in America. That's fucking wild. I'm not gonna lie. Thinking about that, that's crazy work. Like we usually f- fight wars in those places. Imagine that shit was here. In here, oh man, that is crazy. That's what I think about. That's it, right? bad. Nigga, we barely survived Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Yo. Nigga, nigga, 9-11. Imagine that shit was constantly like every like two two weeks. An attack on Newark. An attack on fucking uh uh Houston, Texas, attack on Atlanta. Shit's why I think I'm I might give myself I might give myself Riley like a, a four. Yo, it has to be like a four. I'm not. I'm not. It has going, to be like a three. I'm giving it a three. Because if that's the case, we getting drafted, my nigga. Yeah, and no, I'm not surviving. And, this and shit. I'm, not I'm not going. I'm going to jail. Yeah, I'm going, have to, obviously, I'm going to jail. You're not taking. You're not taking me nowhere. I'm hoping there's like in this day and age, there's going to be a lot of people that go to jail. So there's not. So there's going to be a group of us. So we won't get like attacked. <laughs> That's my that's my hope. Yo. I just hope everybody pussy out like me. So like we all of us in the jail, like we can we can go at the big niggas. People, I think a lot of people are gonna pussy exactly. out. Exactly. Come on, bro. Niggas ain't trying to fight for Biden. Fuck. Tell we, Biden to go out there like George Washington did, motherfucker. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like it's like, bro, like you just bringing you just you just sending us over there to die for real. <laughs> yeah, that's a crazy work, bro. If I look at this shit, and I see more. If I go there and I see more black people than white people, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm done. I'm not trained. I'm, I'm out of here. No, nah, I'm going. There. Hell but no. um, it's definitely like a three. Yeah, I, I say four. Four just because I'm gonna be in prison. They ain't, they ain't gonna. They, ain't, they might. Nah, no. They might R word me, but I'm not. It's not gonna happen. I will never let that happen. What the fuck? I, I die. Exactly. I die. Yeah, they have to. Yeah, they have to kill me. They first. have to kill me, bro. Me too. All right. A drastic climate change. So I'm saying, the ice age like the, gets like cold as hell. Damn. Like froze over. Like, uh, you ever watch the the that movie we always watched in um in high school in like science class, 
where it like like the weather changed show crazy. You, show you um wait what the weather changed crazy. Yeah, it was like it was in New York City and shit like that. Like, there was like a big ass wave that came in and hit like the city. Oh, like uh, what was it called? Twenty twenty day 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 before tomorrow, some shit like that. Oh oh, I think I remember that. Yeah, but but I, don't, some, I don't know. If, did I watch that? Shit? I don't remember. You know what I'm talking about though, right? I do know so, what you're talking about. Something like that. I think personally, me, I think I'll take my survival rate at like a seven. Bro, wait, that big ass wave wasn't it like. It was just hella. There was like an earthquake, big ass tsunami waves, and then it like froze over. I don't know about that. What's your survival rate, bro? Then that mean like the fool gone? Oh. Oh, I didn't even think about that. We ain't got no food. We ain't got no eats. The only thing we got to eat is the animals. Is it we ain't got no eats? Yeah. Nah, I might. Nah, I think I. Nah, I might drop four, it down to a six. Four. Four still. How, what you gonna eat? <laughs> Darius, what you gonna eat? <laughs> Darius, what are you gonna eat? <laughs> what? <laughs> Say nah. You can say this. Say nah. What you gonna eat, bro? Hey, bro. And how you gonna cook it? You can, you can, make, you can still make fires and shit. It was just back in the ice but age. do you know how to make fires? I could try. Nah. You just gotta spark it up like shh. Nah, shh, I think I'm dying. Shh. Pretty off rip. Like what? So you think like a, like a two- yeah, like three. Three? Nah. If there's probably a slight chance that we got somebody who knows what they're doing, mm-hmm. that'll bring up the survival rate. Yeah. But at this point, I know nobody knows what they're doing. <laughs> so I'm gonna die. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I could survive in the t- in the in the frozen tundra. For like, de- where are you going? Where's the shelter? I make an igloo. Oh, nah, you're dead. <laughs> okay, so you're going to die from hyperthermia. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> like, Nigga said, okay, or, I know how you yeah, die. Yeah, I know how you die. I know, okay. I know you did. There you go. All right, yeah. and the last one is an alien invasion. Oh, give me like a one. Think about it, bro. Now, I don't think it's a high as like a nine, eight. I think it might be a six because this is what we got to do. We just can't be at the major cities. Let's go to the rural areas. Let's go to Pennsylvania and the Amish country. Let's go there. Yeah, we're living but, great. Yeah, but they're invading. They're invading, but they're gonna they're gonna hit the major cities first. That'll give me some time to recuperate. To where and do what? What? And to what? Hope, pray, and find shelter and weapons. That's all you need in life. Okay, but like it depends how many aliens there are. If it's like I, right, if they throw out like like. Like attack dogs, like niggas that don't got no minds and they just out here murking niggas, then my probability is like a four. But if they give out niggas that's like little ET motherfuckers that's either smart and they got weapons and lasers, man, army, I know y'all got some secret shit. Throw that shit out there. Y'all can, you know, they can survive for a little. They can fight. Mm-hmm. I'm not. Yeah. I'm going to be in, in, I'm going to be in the deepest depths of the Poconos Mountains where niggas would never find me. So you're not gonna. I'm breaking try. into them Airbnb cribs. So you're not even gonna try to like fight. You're you're you're, you're really relying your life. Yeah, you're, you're putting your life on the the, the government's yes. hands. Yes. Okay. We have all these people, all these smart people. Y'all say y'all smart. Y'all say y'all talk about this, that, there. Y'all are tough niggas. All right, show me then. Okay. Show me then. While I'm over here in the Poconos in this nicest cabin, me and Jay and our families freaking broke into. I'm chilling. I got my food. I already went to Dick Sporting Goods and Walmart get my supplies. I done raided all that shit. Now I want y'all. Now y'all fight. Fuck all that. I I didn't say I could do it. Y'all do it. You know nah, what I'm saying? I'm, I'm saying, bro. But I oh, think I'm dying. you think I'm, you're dying? What yeah. what what rating would you give it? Like a like a two. I'm not surviving nothing. God That's damn. crazy. I thought he was gonna give me like a zombie apocalypse. Then I'd bring my shit up. But <laughs> you feel me? but like. You gave me an alien invasion. That's even worse, bro. That's, you could survive. You could survive the. You could survive global anarchy pretty well, because it might not yeah. be bad. It might. It might uh, be pretty peaceful. No, 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 Darius. No, I don't think people just automatically oh when, when when rules is gone, they'd be like, "I want to murder everyone." No, like I don't think no, that's what people think not, about. It's not gonna be like that, bro. Uh huh. Have you ever heard? Of a zombie apocalypse, right? Yeah. You're not worried about the zombies. You're worried, worried about, about the, the people. people. I know. Because there is no government. No more. That's how I look at it. Yeah. 
That's there's true. no government. There's no government when it comes to a zombie apocalypse. That's true. There's no more. There's no more order. <clears throat> people are gonna round up, and they're gonna take stuff from other people. Yeah, they're gonna join take... them. See, that's the thing. Come on, you. That's that easy. Join them. That's that easy to join them. Yeah, it depends on who you're joining, though. You got, you got, you got, exactly. you got. You can't join the people that's like Vikings that's raiding. Look, there's the... gonna be some. White supremacists that that that's that's that, that mad white supremacists that's gonna tweak, bro. Gonna not, I don't them. think, bro. Honestly, to be honest, I don't think them white supremacists. I don't think their numbers is really that high. No, it's not that. They can't not, be, bro. There's not, so many light skinned people in this world. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not crazy. It's not crazy. I like I ain't scared compared to compared to like what niggas. Got what niggas back in the day? Yeah, nah. I don't know. I think we. Yeah. I think you pulling, bro. Yeah, so, I'm, I think I'm you can probably. survive that one. World War Three. That's where it gets tricky. I don't know about that. Uh, the climate change that's possible depending on how that, that's just your willpower to live at that point. This is just survival got, of the fitness. I don't fitting. got willpower, bro. As <laughs> long, just gonna as, give up as long as once that wave come, bro. Damn, Dude, you just gonna I'm stand done. there? Yeah, fuck hell no. I'm running. You ever seen that? Uh, there was a meme of that monkey, bro. <laughs> there was a baby monkey, bro. <laughs> got 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 picked up by a tiger, bro. Got picked up by a tiger and on a tree. The tiger's just licking, licking its head, bro. Feet, just, just <laughs> getting, just, just, get ready? just getting ready, bro. The monkey <laughs> just looking like this, <laughs> like, like I swear to God, the monkey just. I swear to God, the monkey He's just knows, waiting for it to happen. The monkey just knows it's gonna happen. That's what it's gonna be. That's me. <laughs> the monkey's literally. <sighs> <laughs> like this, I swear to God, it's a real monkey, bro. That's actually kind of crazy. <laughs> like a baby monkey, man. It made me sad, but that's oh, just funny, man. man. Bro. That's gonna, uh, that's gonna be me. I'm just gonna wait for my death, man. Nah, bro, I'm fighting, bro. Fuck nah, that, fighting or flighting. I'm not. I can't wait for my death. I gotta go out swinging, bro. Mm. But I got, I got one more story to tell you because we was talking about apocalypses and shit. I want, I got one alien story to tell you. I got it from Mr. Ball, actually. You been listening, watching Mr. Ball lately? I haven't. Ooh, this is good because I got a story that he was talking about, which is kind of crazy. Okay, bet. So, shout out Mr. Ball if you ever watch this. Shout we out love Mr. you. Ball. We should collab. Oh, Come on the podcast, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Um, so I got a story to tell you. It's this might be one of the most, the one of the most famous alien abductions in the history of like China, and this made people in China. But like made the Chinese government believe like in like the paranormal and all that stuff. So basically, there was a there was a guy in China in in the early seventies. He was a farmer. He lived in a rural country. Farmer. He barely had technology. Barely barely had communication to the outside world. So after the day he was farming, he went to sleep like normally, and his family realized he was gone. They could, they didn't know where he went. He disappeared for nine days. They didn't know where he was until. A, t- a person came with a telegram to his father saying, like, they found him. They found him 600 miles in a very populated city. 600 miles. They don't know how he got there. They asked him, how the hell, like, what happened? He was like, all he remembers is that he woke, he went to sleep. He woke up laying on the sidewalk in the city, and two police officers picked him up and pu- and brought him to, like, the deportation uh, uh, station or, like, the police station or whatever. And that's all he remembers. So everybody's just like, okay, that's kind of weird. So they just all brush it off. It starts happening again. Now he went back to sleep. Maybe like two weeks later, when he goes back to sleep, he wakes up. He's in front of an army base, random army base. He's like, what the hell is this? He's just like confused. And then two soldiers come up to him. They put their arms around him, like escorting him, like moving him around. Mm -hmm. They move him throughout the army base. He sees the whole base. They take him through these doors and shit like that. And then they bring him to this office where the lieutenant is. And the lieutenant's on the phone, but he's like not... Like, looking at people. He's just thinking, like, his uh, man's walked in. So he's just on the phone, not paying attention. The two soldiers bring the guy, sit him in the chair. And then when the lieutenant comes in, like, turns around, he's like, who the hell are you? Mm-hmm. He was like, he was like, I don't know. Like, the your soldiers your soldiers brought me here. He's like, who you, like, the, and the guy's confused because he's like, how did you get in here? Like, this is a military base. The, the farmer turns around. The guys are gone. What? He turns around. Like, literally, the guys who brought him in there is not in the room. And he's looking at him like all confused, and the lieutenant is literally yelling at him like, "Yo, how did you get here?" Because now he thinks there's like a, like a security breach in the base, so they don't know how he got in there, and everybody's they had to arrest him all that, and the guy's all confused because he's like, "Yo, I promise you," he told like the story, he's like, "Yo, 
There's two guys. These two guys brought me throughout this whole entire thing. Like, we went through doors. We went through security screenings. That's how I got here. And the lieutenant's just, like, confused because, like, there's no way that he got, like, he was able to get through without nobody saying anything, right? So now it gets even, like, nobody knows if this is, like, what's happened to this guy. So then it happens again. He gets abducted again in the middle of the night. But he supposedly said he went to nine cities. Like, somebody, like, these two, two again, two people picked him up and took him on a flight across, like, the, across Asia or China. And they went to, like, nine different cities. And at the time, they was like, all right, you know, he was probably dreaming or whatever. Because they found him, I think, maybe, like, a couple miles away from, like, maybe, like, 30 miles away from where he was. So, maybe, still, how the hell you get there? Yeah, that's good. But... They they asked him questions like oh so what was the temperature like in here and he was he was like describing it like exactly how it was that day he went there because it's like he would like they were asking like was it raining today he was like yeah it was raining and this stuff and they looked at it. it was actually raining that day in that city and it's like he has no technology he has no cell phone no TV how the hell does he know all this stuff like it, like it would take him like it would be really hard to like lie about all that stuff yeah so people think like this was like a famous thing on the news like this was on the news and everything. And they think that there was like the two thing, the two uh, cops or whatever, or uh, or police that was picking him up, were aliens, and he's been getting abducted the last like three or four times. So, like I like I said, it was like in the beginning, six hundred miles is crazy, six hundred miles, nigga. That's like from here to to North Carolina. Yeah, that's that's like if you go to sleep, you wake up in North Carolina, and then in the whole army base. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, like the fact that he was able to just get walk past and walk behind everything without anybody noticing. By the nobody way, nobody noticing. Niggas just like, hey, hey, guy, what's up, man? Like that's that, that's that's kind of weird. That's what I'm saying. You know what I think, bro? Like I, I was thinking about this the other day. You know how you know how I was watching Joe Rogan like one of his clips, and he had a guy on there. He said there's over a hundred different. Um, civilizations in in the Amazon rainforest that are untouched by society. So that means like nobody knows about them and they don't know nothing about us. So I'm thinking, right? Imagine when imagine if we fly a plane over where they're living in the Amazon. They probably look at that like a UFO. Mm-hmm. So imagine with us, right? Imagine aliens are like that with us though. Like they fly their little UFOs over and we're like, oh shit, we see a UFO and shit. But really, they're living on Earth somewhere that we don't know where the fuck they at. Mm. Because them niggas in the Amazon, they don't know where the fuck we at. They probably look at us like aliens too. Like if, like if like researchers go over there, they probably look at them like, yo, these niggas, like, why they look like this? Yeah. But if uh, same thing like us, if an alien walked up to us, they probably we probably look at them the same way those uh, those people are looking at us. Mm-hmm. And like they, I, I don't know. I just feel like if there were. Like I don't think aliens are coming from like out of space and this is their first time here. I feel like they're like in like the they're, deep. They're somewhere. They're in Antar- Antarctica, bro. All answers lie in Antarctica, bro. In the ice, either in the ice uh, or past Alaska. the ice. You think there's some in Alaska? Nah, I don't know about Alaska. Maybe, maybe certain tr- maybe certain things are in Alaska, mm. but I think it's either way down in the water or mm-hmm. way across Atlant- Antarctica, bro. I wouldn't. I'll- Honestly, bro, way down in the water would probably be it, bro. I it's crazy work because we can't go that far. Niggas, could, shit could be living down there that we don't know about, bro. It's crazy though, like the fact that you're like imagine, imagine six hundred miles away, bro. Imagine you go to sleep, you wake up in Charlotte, That's confused. You wake up in you wake up in uh the fucking White House. Yeah, that's sitting crazy. in front of Biden, he look at you. How the fuck you get in here? Yeah, he about to shoot your ass. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Hey, man, but. Right. I got one more would you rather question and then we can go with the with the last segment with the dad jokes and shit. Mm-hmm. All right. If you made it this far on the podcast, like, subscribe, comment down below. What do you want in the comment, Fritz? Comment. B- oh, I don't know. Uh comment um <laughs> bowling. Bowling, yes, bowling. <laughs> comment bowling. All right. Fuck. All right, Fritz, I got a question for you. Who went in a fight? The Justice League or one billion Grizzly Bears? Who will win in a fight? Stupid, bro. <laughs> the Justice League, obviously, my nigga. Do you know how many? It doesn't matter. What do you mean it don't matter? How? how why, why would that even matter? You know how much a billion is? There's. You know who the Justice League is? 
Bro, first of all, a billion a billion grizzly You understand bear. that Superman is there and the Flash, the flat fastest man in the world. Okay. And you got mm-hmm. Batman, the smartest. Batman dead. Huh? Batman dead. Yeah, but listen. Wait, what? Batman's dying. He's dying. A billion grizzly bears. Batman has gadgets. What that? Bro, he can have all these gadgets. He's not stopping a billion grizzly bears. No, a, he's not stopping a billion grizzly bears. He has Wonder Woman. All they need is Wonder Woman and Superman and it's over. Nah. Bro. You I, dumb? Bro, look, 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 look. Are you Batman's dumb? dead. Batman's dead. The Flash? I don't think he's dead. Cyborg dead. Cyborg dead. Yeah, Green Arrow's dead. Has to be joking. Green Lantern's dead. A, you know how much a billion is? I understand, but that is a, you know how big a grizzly bear is. There's you know that these niggas have fought, have fought, like yeah, outer space, like doomsday niggas. These, like, these you niggas know doomsday has hella fucking soldiers. They also lost to uh, they lost to a zombie apocalypse. They all almost died. I don't know if you knew that. No, I didn't know that. Bro, there's a comic book where they was talking about the, the Avengers versus zombies. They literally almost died. Niggas was getting... Nigga, Batman was done up. Cyborg was done up. Green Lantern was done up. They was all getting cooked. What's Superman there? Superman was almost died. He, only, he literally almost... He almost got cooked. His what? son almost got cooked. It was not... Nah, that was a crazy comic, though. It was like a... It was like a... A robot apocalypse mixed with zombie apocalypse. She was, it was like a, I See, think robot. You ain't say robot. No, no, no. It was. It's like this. The robot way, makes it a lot more tougher. There's. What you mean? What? What you? How? They, robot. It wasn't like there were robots. It was like the, the the zombie virus spread through cell phones. Oh. Which was a crazy concept. It was like freaking cyborg was um on dark side ship or whatever. And it was, he was trying to, like, he kidnapped uh, Cyborg, and Darkseid was trying to infect him, like, with, like, this little pathogen, whatever, to get yeah. the whole world sick. And then Darkseid ended up getting sick. So then when he sent Cyborg back to Earth, and you know, Cyborg's hooked up to the Wi Fi. So it was like, a, so Cyborg is AI. So it was a virus. So basically, if you look at your phone, you get turned into a zombie. Oh, wow. So niggas was, yo, niggas almost got cooked. Supergirl almost fucking died. Her whole planet was getting torn, torn apart by the zombies. So, I, yo. Wait, zombies as in Dark Side was a zombie also. Yeah, but he was like, he wasn't really, he was not, honestly not like fighting niggas. Oh, he though. wasn't doing He that. was just like trying to get better. But oh. I'm telling you, bro, a billion bears is a lot. I don't, you know what? I don't think, I think, I would think the Justice League is also going to win, but a lot of them are going to die. Martian Manhunter is done. I don't think I, I think I don't think everyone's gonna live, obviously, but my nigga, what the fuck? It's Superman gonna get tired of killing all these bears, bro. Nah. Superman don't get tired. Nah. Uh, I feel like he'll get tired, bro. Superman don't get tired. He's the greatest superhero of all time. Alright, we'll see. We'll see. Let me know in the comments, bro. But you got you wanna get into your dad jokes, bro? Yeah, we got some dad jokes, bro. We want you got some this is the last segment of the podcast. Thank you for all whoever got it to this far. But we have one more segment where we talk about, you know, when Fritz was on here last time, I was talking about, uh, what, what, what was those jokes again? Oh, dark humor jokes. Dark humor jokes. Crazy. Fritz, yeah. It was very bad. That was bad. I couldn't even post it on TikTok. That was wild. But Fritz, wants, Fritz has some dad jokes for me. I want to, let's see if they're funny. You want me to bring, want me to put up some dad jokes too? Yeah, you all right, I, 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 Let me go find some. Let me go find some. Dad jokes. Jay, you think these are gonna be funny? No. Oh, let's let's prove her wrong, Fritz. Let's prove her wrong. I got eighty. I'm not gonna read all eighty of these. That's crazy work. You want me to start? Uh, I I'll, I'll give you the first one. Wait. <laughs> all right. My neighbor. My neighbor gave me a new roof for free. He said it was on the house. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Why do fathers take an extra pair of socks when they go golfing? Why? In case they get a hole in one. All right. I'm, I, we're going to do this and try not to laugh either. Yeah, try not to try laugh, not to laugh either. All right, all right. <sighs> 
A duck a duck walks into a bar and buys everyone around. He tells the barber, put it on my bill. I don't get that one. I ain't gonna lie. Duck bill? Duck bill? He has a as a duck walks into a bar. Like a, put it on my bill, like put all the drinks on my bill. Like that duck was bill. ass. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Uh nah, these jokes is crazy work. Hold on. This is crazy work. What did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? What? Supplies. <laughs> that was only funny because of his fucking the way he said it. <laughs> the, the, supplies. <laughs> you have to say it that way, Yo. bro. You gotta say it that way, bro. Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> Wait, I can't. Well, I got oh, I got. Oh. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Yo, how did Benjamin Franklin feel when he discovered electricity? Electrified. He was shocked. He <laughs> said electrified. <laughs> Yo, this is so stupid. Um. Uh, wow. Who created dad jokes for real, man? Yeah, this is ridiculous. I think I'm cooking Fritz right now. No? Nah, you hit me with that supply. <laughs> one. What did one wall say to the other? I see you? No. What? <laughs> I'll meet you at that corner. <laughs> Yo, what, bro? Yo, what? You're losing. Oh my gosh, this is bad because he he did his homework. I didn't do my homework. (laughs) Yo, 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 yo. Oh my god, I get it at the corner, bro. (laughs) Yeah, you mean at the corner? That's funny. Nah, I gotta lie, that's funny. I got another one if you got it. You don't got that one? Nah, go ahead. Say another one, bro. What did z- what did the zero say to the eight? Um, You're too late? No. What? That belt looked good on you. Not funny? <laughs> Ooh, that was that, a good that was, one. That was, that was, that was good. a good one. I got some shit, bro. Yo. Oh, my gosh. This is so... I got some mid ones. Where did the fruits go on vacation? Where? Paris. All right. What do you call a fish with no eyes? What? A fish. You serious? That was from back in the day, bro. <laughs> Yo, that was a... I was going to say... Psh, psh, from back in the... From back, from back in the... Yo, that was from like middle school, bro. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, bro! I don't trust the, those trees, bro. Why? They seem kind of shady. He gave you that one. <laughs> he gave me that one. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro! Oh my gosh, I can't freaking. They don't got nothing here. Who stole my depression medication? What the fuck? I hope you're happy now. <laughs> See, I had to hit him with that. that, that you had to hit him with the surprise factor, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that was that heat, yo. I felt... nah, that one was funny. I'll give you that one. <laughs> that one, that one was funny. Uh, that one was funny. <laughs> all right, we all right. We do two more. We we'll do two more. Oh, that one was funny. 
You got two more left, bro. Yeah, I got you. I got one. All right, let me go. Ahead. Right, let me go. Mm. You know, I only know 25 letters in the alphabet. I don't know why. I seen that one already. What? <laughs> I seen that one already. <laughs> Yo. What did one hat say to the other? What? Stay here. I'm going on ahead. <laughs> yeah. That's not funny. That's funny. Yo, this is funny shit. Nigga said, go on ahead. I'm going on ahead. Yeah. Oh, oh, you can move the mic over, Fritz. Oh, I'm uh, going on ahead. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Nah, that was a good one. I was trying not to laugh. Uh, what did the what did the cannibal choose as his last meal? What five guys? Yep, that's that's where we're going. I don't understand that one. Five guys, the cannibal, cannibal. Yeah, I thought you said the camel. No, the cannibal. That's dark. No, <laughs> no, it's bad. I that's just just it went <laughs> south, bro. All right, uh, this is the last one. Hold All on, right. Bro. Uh, do you have like a list or do you have like you found it online nah, I found it online okay okay I used to be addicted to soap what happened but I'm clean now that's it that's all folks <laughs> <laughs> yo thank you again for tuning in to another episode of No Records Podcast episode number 128 Fritz thank you again for pulling for another podcast hey, my brother no problem, you know what I'm saying we'll see you soon time. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, all that good stuff. Like, comment, post notifications. You know, it helps with an algorithm. If you made it this far, comment bowling. Uh, if you're listening to this on Apple to- Apple Apple Podcast, Spotify, give us a rating on, on that. You know what I'm saying? There's hundreds of y'all that watch every that listen to us every week. You know, a rating will push us in the algorithm more. It's free. Just help us out. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? New stuff coming. Yeah, Twitch. Thinking, we'll be live on Twitch soon. We got some games you're going to play. Twitch and TikTok. So stay tuned for that. Got some games playing. Fritz, you got anything else you want to tell them? Uh, yeah, just have a um. Thank you, thank you for watching. That's it. Thank you for your services. We different. They regular, no regulars, man. Gangster.